what did the gods say? <laughs> Great seer of our land, what did you see? What said the gods? What did they say is my faith with him? My princess, the future is very bright. But the gods did not show anything to me. They did not say anything to me. High of the gods, what are you saying? Why are you talking from both sides of your mouth? What do you mean the future is bright, but the gods did not say anything? <coughs> I came here for you to clear my head of the confusion that has been clouded it. But you are getting me more confused. What exactly did the gods say? I only speak what I know. Then maybe you should consult the gods again, so they can speak to you this time around. And maybe you will hear them. My princess. Does it mean you are doubting what I have just told you? I am Anyoko, the great seer, the great messenger of the gods, the great masquerade of this land. I have no reason to hold back the message of the gods. I have no reason not to let my princess get an answer to the question she asked. Well, I don't understand what you are saying. I came here for clarity. And I demand you speak to the gods so they will talk to you, so you can talk to me. You can say that again. <laughs> you see, uh, Igwe, it is because he has become a man. That is why we are here to see you this beautiful afternoon. Igwe, you see, not quite long ago, my son called me up. He said uh, he has come of age. He is now a man. And he would like to do what uh, men do. <laughs> and I said, Obina, what do you know that men do? He said, they start a home. They keep a home. So I want to start a home. I said, ah, nice one. <laughs> My grave was here about this. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, who could the lucky lady be? He said, who else but the most beautiful princess we have in our kingdom and beyond? Oh, really? Your daughter. <laughs> Our princess. <laughs> I said, oh, well, that's fine. So, uh, Igwe, yes. that is why <clears throat> we have come to inform you officially mm -hmm. with this drink mm -hmm. to tell you our intention. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Thank you. Um, greetings to your majesty. Uh, like you rightly pointed out that uh, I am now a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's my son, that's my son. <laughs> so it will not be out of place to say that I have um, decided to do what men do. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so your, your, your majesty, I, I called my father to accompany me to officially let you know my intentions. Your Majesty, I will be the happiest man on earth if my wish will be granted. I mean, my wish of getting married to the princess. To so our princess will be granted. Igwe, Igwe, you will live long. Oh no. Igwe, um, of course, uh, you are the know who of this kingdom. And um, uh, you know what the tradition is all about because mm. you are by by. Well, you have done a great thing you know, by virtue of uh, coming in this way. <laughs> but as you can see, um, the princess uh, is not at home. Otherwise, I would have called her out here mm. to seek her opinion as regards this. 
But nevertheless, be expectant of good results mm. as soon as she comes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Uh, you. Let me still call um, some of my royal hands. Uh, you still like that uh, John Manson, sir? <laughs> we would like to go to John Manson. <laughs> you, will, you will live oh. long. <laughs> wow. right. ah, I see. I see. <clears throat> Greetings, Father. The beauty of the Pride Land. Long live the great king of Inyato Kingdom. As well. uh, Greetings, Ono. We greet you, our beautiful princess. Greetings. Greetings, my princess. Thank you, Ono. Um, my princess, father. the gods have ordered your step right on time. Now, have you been looking for me, father? Well, um, things fall in place. Ono here and his son, Obina are here because of you. His son here came with this. And <laughs> he's uh, asking your hand in marriage. And I want to know what your opinion is. Um, yes, uh, my princess. I already told your father, our king, here that I would be the happiest man on earth to have you as my beloved bride. <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, so, what do you have to say about it? Father, I lack words to express how I feel inside me right now. If you don't mind, I would like to take my leave. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? What I am trying to say, Father, is that I am speechless. And please permit me to take my leave right now. was created by the gods and was given different destinies. These destinies are bound to manifest because their chi brought them their way. No mortal dares the gods. No human says no when the gods say yes. No human questions the gods. No ordinary man dreams of fighting to change the destinies given to him or her by her chi or his chi. It is not done. 
But such destinies were given in accordance with the dictates of the gods. Destinies that's already made to manifest. Destinies that are already made to guide. Destinies that are made to protect. I can go on a trachi, I can go on a trachi, I can go on a trachi, I can go on a trachi. On a trachi, I can go 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 on a trachi, on a trachi, on a trachi, I can go 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 on a trachi, on a trachi, I can go on a trachi, I can go on a trachi, I can go on a trachi. Honestly, mother, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What I am trying to say is that the way you worked out on your father in the presence of Onowu and his son who came to ask for your hand in marriage was a bad one. He is the king. No one dares to work out on the king of Inyato kingdom. But mother, I am not just anyone. I am Princess Urena. The only daughter of the Igwe of Inyato. Besides, I did not walk out from them. I took permission before I left. I did not grant that request. You left my presence. What was that embarrassment all about? Father, I am sorry if I embarrassed you, but I did not mean to. That was exactly what you did. You embarrassed me before no one his son, Nobina. Your Majesty, please forgive her, please. What was exactly bothering your mind that you lacked words to express yourself? Father, didn't you see I was confused? I mean, the information took me on our words and I didn't want to give you a wrong answer. What do you mean by you were confused and you never wanted to give a wrong answer? Mother, I like Obina as a person. But my heart does not beat for him to be my husband. Urena. Onowu is my good friend. At the same time, he is the Onowu of his great kingdom. He is wealthy. And his son too, Obina, is a handsome man. Hard-working. He is going to take care of you as a woman. You do not need to reject him, not at all. Father, like I said, I don't feel anything for Obina. My heart does not beat for him. He cannot be my husband. Except my father is pushing me into marriage with someone I don't love. Hmm. Father, you have to understand, I am not just an ordinary maiden. I am not one of those maiden running around the village or the stream, doing one thing or the other, looking for a man who will say hello to them. I am Princess Urena, daughter of Igwe Chilaka Anosike, any sister of this kingdom. I cannot just marry a man my heart does not beat for. I don't love him. Son, you need to get out of this mood. It will not do you any good. How do you mean, Father? Since we came back from the palace, you, you have been moody, behaving funny. Eh? Why? It's not part of it. Father, how do you expect me to be? Father, were you expecting me to dance? 
Father, I am about losing the mother of my unborn children. The princess is sleeping out of my hands in the broad daylight. Says who? Father, how can you ask me, says who? I mean, were he not there at the palace? Father, everything happened right before your eyes. Father, can't you read the body language of the princess? The princess only said she lacked words to express what was happening to her there and then. Now, listen to me, son. Maybe she was excited over your proposal towards her. Mm -hmm. Father, hmm? are, are you serious? Just maybe. Father, how come I never, I never thought in that direction? I mean, I never thought in that direction all this while. My son, rest your head. I'm your father. Trust me. <laughs> no cause for alarm. Amazing. Baby, I'm sorry. I don't know how these things happen, but believe me, this is the last time. I promise you it's not going to you happen. Know, you know, you're, you're very stupid for saying that. I mean, what is wrong with you? No, tell me, what is wrong with you? I seriously don't know how these things happen. Believe me, I don't even know what is wrong with me. You're sorry, you're sorry. One thousand sorries and the next minute you're doing the same thing. What is wrong with you? Maybe you shouted. I promise you, this will be the last time. It's never going to happen. Oh, that was what you said the last time. It's going to be the last time. I don't even know how these things happen. What is all this? Baby, just calm down, okay? Can we just... Go back to bed and try. It's not going to happen. I promise. What? Did, what did you say? Can we go back to bed and continue? You, you must out of your mind. Now listen and listen very good. I am not going to do anything with you. At least not now. Rubbish. Baby, I'm sorry. Don't. You're not going to leave. I can see my good friend is busy with his act of drawing. Very, very, very busy. What's up now? I'm good. I'm making some meat here. Ah. Aiko? Yeah. So, what about mine? You've not, you've not started mine. This is exactly the fifth day. Fifth day I asked you to draw a befitting image of me. That I want to put it in my house. I eh? know, I know, I know, I know, my brother, I know, I know. So, so, so why haven't you started drawing mine? Um, you see, I've started this one already, you know, before your own request. But I, I, I promise you, once I'm done with this, I'm going to start your own. And I'll deliver it as soon as possible. Okay? Mm. You go, you go, I beg you. Let me let me hold you by your by your word. Yeah, you uh, get it. Alpha, I'm good guy. I hate you. We could get it in for us. Oh. what is that? You just reminded me that I've not even had time to cook anything to eat. Okay, now, how can you remember that you've not had something to eat? How many times have I told you to get a good girl for yourself? Who will be taking care of you? Cook for you when you need to. 
If you don't want to, you want to suffer. Doing all this and all the time. Look at who is talking. The last time I checked, this person gave me advice to marry. He's still single. How can you be telling me to get married? Why you're not married yet? Uh, yeah. I know, I know. Are you not single? <laughs> I know that I'm single. <laughs> but, my man, I am better than you. How are you better than me? Everybody in this community, everybody knows the girl I want to marry. Everybody knows. But with you, you don't have, you don't even know the kind of lady that you want in your life. You don't even know the picture. You don't even have a clear identity of some kind of girl that you want for yourself. I know what I want. I will know her the day I will set my eyes on her. Yes. That day, I will realize that this is the person I want to marry. When I see her, I will know her. Okay? So don't bother yourself. Anyway, if you don't mind, come and help me in the kitchen. Eh? Come and help me in the kitchen. Let's uh, go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I am coming. When you finish cooking, you go see my reverse. I will come back. Come on! <laughs> I like you so much. Come on! Come on! You are not serious, so. This guy is not serious. Let me go ahead. After I'll call you to come and eat. Okay. Yeah, Greetings to the beautiful princess of Enyato Kingdom. May the gods bless you, Sodima. He say, How are you? I'm good. I can see my princess is heading somewhere. I'm actually on my way to your friend's house, Ikenna. Oh. I hope I meet him at home. Oh, oh yes. I'm actually coming from his place. Oh, interesting. Yes, my princess. I hope he is good. Uh, yes, um, he is good. As a matter of fact, he should be in the kitchen cooking right now. Mm. Uh, my princess, I have talked to him several to get a wife for himself, but he doesn't want to listen to me. Well, Uzodima, your advice is a good one. Uh, a friend should do that. But I believe when the time is right, he can now do the right thing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, please, uh, equally advise him to uh, uh, get a wife for himself. Uh, he's not getting younger. Eh? Uh, at least, don't forget to tell him to keep my own food when he's done cooking. Yes, I am coming to take my portion. <laughs> Who's that, my, you're a very funny man. Yeah, my princess. Well, it's good. Okay. Um, not to worry, I'll pass your message across, okay? Thank you, my princess. Okay, I'll have to be on my way now. Hey, hello, go princess. Take care of hey. yourself. I don't know better, the mm -hmm. princess. You flatter me. Thank Thank you. You. The princess. Thank hey. you. Oh, you maka. Princess, you mwa. Hey. Sent for me. I've been waiting to hear the latest between our daughter and Obina, the son of Uno. I don't understand, Your Majesty. I am confused. Lolo. Your Majesty. You know, women are known to be very close to their daughters. Why is our daughter always rejecting men that comes her way? Does she want to remain unmarried? May the gods forbid. It's not enough to save me, the gods forbid. You need to find out what her problem is, the causes of this. Your Majesty, I have tried speaking to her. So what is her headache? She didn't say anything tangible. The only thing she ever said was that uh, that her mind did not accept them. 
You need a lot of work to do. You need to brood her brain so she could speak to you. Go and talk to your daughter so that you know what her problem is. Your Majesty, you know your daughter. She's very stubborn and secretive. She took that after you. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. Princess of Enyato Kingdom. Greetings, Ikenna. You're welcome. I can see you're busy. Yes. I had to come straight to the kitchen because your friend told me you were cooking. And I can see you're doing exactly that. You mean my friend Ozodima told you that? Yes, he I... did. And he also said I should tell you to send words across to him when you're done cooking so he can come and eat. Princess, please <laughs> don't mind him. Don't just mind that, that guy. You have a very funny friend, I must say. <laughs> anyway, I... I came to spend the day with you. Uh, that's if you don't mind. Uh, Princess, that's... thoughtful of you. But as you can see, I am so busy right now. Well, I don't see it as a problem, as my mates can continue from where you stopped. But Princess, no, I, I love cooking my food myself, please. Please, you don't have to. No. Mm. Yes. I see. Now I see why your friend insists that you get a wife. You should get a wife indeed. Well, if you will not let my mates do the job for you, I might as well do it myself. Oh, Hope that's... Princess, please don't go there. No, 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 no. This won't be good at all. <laughs> you want to put me into problem. Hey, princess, you don't have to do that. I chose it to so we're back up on that because. Well, I don't see what the problem is, but if you insist it's going to be a problem, then you have to allow my girls do it. <sighs> if it's a problem, I I, I will do it no, myself. No, 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 let me let it's me. It's okay, let... as she pleases. It's okay. It's okay. No, no problem, as my princess pleases. It's okay. Then so shall it be. Quick! Uh, Amara! Jesus! Amara! 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 Amara, what is it? Amara, what is it? Somebody help me! Somebody help! Amara, what is it? Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Brother. Hola, Machi. I heard you shouting at your wife in your room earlier. What happened? Hola, Machi. Don't worry yourself. It's nothing too serious. Brother. You forgot that you're not a good liar. Nothing serious and you were shouting on top of your voice at your wife like that. Anything that made you shout it at her that way must be something serious and very important too. What is it? What is it? My wife. How can my wife be mentioning another man's name? Each time I'm making love to her. I'm tired. I'm tired. Again? And what did she say cost it this time? 
I don't understand this whole thing. I don't, I don't get it. Brother, all is definitely not well. But my major concern is you refuse to see it from your own point of view. What point? That my wife is possessed by a spiritual husband. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Then if she's not possessed, what is it? That means she's seeing another man. Seeing another man, you said? Of course. No matter, that's not possible. I mean, how can she be seeing another man when I'm alive? Oh. Listen, Olomachi, I don't want you to say that again. And I want you to know that I trust my wife oh. with my life. Brother, brother, in this life, nothing is impossible. Nothing. Oh. Nothing is impossible. The Great Masquerade We have been friends for a long time now. And um, then I decided to make her my bride. Um, the great masquerade of Inyato Kingdom. I have come to know if she's destined to be my bride, I mean, my wife. No human being. What he or she should not know. Everyone born to this earth came with a certain gift, certain destiny. And whatever your chi gives to you is what you take. Whatever your chi gives to you is what you take. Great masquerade. Are you saying that she's not my wife? Hey, hey. Do not put words into the mouth of the gods. I'm sorry, Great Masquerade. But please, tell me what I want to hear. Who is that maiden? Who is that lady that is eating deep into your head, son of Amanze? Princess Urena, Great Masquerade, the daughter of... Um, our king, I mean the great king of our kingdom. I want her to be my bride. No one has the right to change his or her destiny. Neither does anyone have the right to change his or her nature. Go home, son of Amazon. Allow time and fate to be the ultimate decider. Says we actually stoop so low to cook for Ikenna today. Mm -hmm. I was surprised when I heard her say that she was going to cook for this young man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wonder the kind of person this our princess is. Who will reveal one stable character? Mm -hmm. eh? Think she's up to something. You see, you think yes. she is up to something. The question is. What is she up to? Hmm. Osimo, Osimo, yeah. She's up to something. 
I can't really place it. But I know that her recent character is for a purpose. Mm -hmm. That purpose, both of us will be alive and see it come to pass. Mm -hmm. But now, our major issue, our major problem is to cook this food and very fast before she comes here and starts shouting at us. Easy. Hey, hey. Our princess will choose if I'm okay. <laughs> Is that not the person you said that was dying at the farm a while ago? Yes, she is. I, I had to run back to call you so you could help me carry her to Anyoko for healing. Believe me. Let's meet up there and find out what happened. Okay. Amara. Amara. Amara, what happened? What happened, Amara? Who came to rescue you, Amara? Would you? I thought you were my friend. How could you leave me in that farm to die? No, Amara. No, that's not it. I had to run back to call Usadima to help me carry you to Ayoko for treatment. Honey, what you're saying is the truth. So what happened? We were working in the farm. And then suddenly I felt a sharp pain all around my chest. And then I fell on the floor. I was struggling to breathe. And then I stopped breathing. How then did you wake up? Because your friend said you were almost dead. Yes, I did. But then a strange power entered inside of me. When, it, when an unknown hand touched me. A hand touch you. I, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? This whole thing feels strange to me. All I know is that I felt an unknown being leaving me while I was opening my eyes. This, this person you're talking about, is it a man or a woman? By the gods, I do not know. The ray of light surrounding this person could not let me see whether it was a man or a woman. I think it's a spirit. A, a spirit? Please, we need to leave. I'm, I'm scared already. I'm seriously scared. Let's, let's go home. My brother, why are you cheating on a man that paid your bride price? A man that loves you more than his own life. Excuse me. <laughs> me? Cheating on my lovely husband. Oloma, where is this coming from? How? Stop the pretense, please. Stop. I am not pretending. Oloma, what is this? I am not cheating on my husband and I will never do so. If you are not cheating on my brother, then you are possessed. God forbid. I told my brother, but he won't listen. Oloma, for the last time, I am not cheating on your brother, and I will never do so. Okay, tell me. If you are not possessed, what sort of a woman will be calling another man's name while her husband is making love to her? Tell me! About that, honestly, I don't know what to say. But I am not cheating on my husband. Oloma, I am not cheating on my husband. So stop it. Do I look like a baby to you? Do I look like a baby to you? Listen and listen very well. Pray nothing happens to my brother. Because if anything happens to my brother, what I will do to you? You won't live to tell this story. She's a dust out of life. She's a 
Excuse me. Please, what is your name and where are you from? My name is... Aiko? Aiko? Whoa! What is this smoke? What is this rubbish now? Eh? Who's the man? Must you come at this time? You just came and spot everything for me. What did I spoil? Eh? She was about to tell me her name, where she come from, and everything about her before you woke me up and spot everything for me. You've been dreaming, right? You can call it whatever you want to call it. But this is the clear picture of the person I've been describing to you people. This is the clear picture. Hi. What are you talking about? I am talking about the maiden I want to get married to. That's what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. Are you talking about a tall, fair, beautiful and a humble lady you've been talking about? Exactly. That is what I'm saying. I was with her a while ago in my dream. Exactly. In your dream. That is where you can find that kind of girl and not in this community. Except you have to beg the gods to send that kind of girl from above. Uzodema, why are you such a dream killer? Why? If it's about this kind of dream, Ikena, I am ready to kill it a thousand times. Yes, I'm ready to kill it a thousand times. Nenemaya. Now I know why I don't want to listen to anyone about getting married. Hmm? How will you get married when you can cook this kind of delicious food? On the contrary, I didn't cook it. Who then did? Princess came around and ordered her maids to do that for me. Ah, Ikena. I didn't send the word across to me. Knowing very well that I told you earlier when I came that I was hungry. Eh? And where are you going to? Ah. To dish my own food, of course. I'll finish the food. Everything. I won't keep any for you. Okay, take care. I actually go back to this street now. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. How are you? What's, what's going on? What are you doing and why is my lunch not served? Why will I serve you lunch when I'm cheating on you? What is that supposed to mean? Ask your sister all over you. She will tell you. What? You, you, you crying? Why are you crying, baby? Don't pretend. Your sister looked me in the face and accused me of infidelity. What is that supposed to mean? Say that. 
a movie. What kind of a man are you? Must you tell everybody what is happening in our marriage? Can't we have privacy? Tell me, do you even know the meaning of secret? I'm sure you don't. Oh, what? I am so disappointed at you, my husband. Listen, sweetheart, you... I didn't expect this from you. You don't have to say that. You don't. Don't, don't, don't say that. And Moby, I will say it over and over again. Because I know the both of you planned it. Yes. No. You both planned it. And I'm sure you're the one that told her to come say those things to me. And even the threats. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say threats? Amobi, I said threats. Your sister threatened to deal with me if anything happens to you. Come on. Why would your sister even say that to me? Amobi, this is not the man I married. I have not even seen him. Because if you're the man I married, you wouldn't go and tell your sister things about us. Tell her and her tell me that if anything should happen to you, that she would deal with me. Really? I didn't expect this. But I know you did it. You told her. So don't pretend. No. You did. Hello, Hello, Matthew. But I'm here. Brother, why are you shouting my name like that? Very stupid to ask me such useless question. Hello, what, what is this madness? What did you tell my wife? The truth. What stupid truth? That she's either cheating on you or she's possessed by a spiritual husband. <laughs> and that's for being stupid. You can slap me all you want, but it doesn't stop me from telling you the truth. Your wife is nothing but a cheap prostitute. What That's what say? she is. Leave me alone. What did you say? You're stupid! My daughter. Every maiden is supposed to grow from who is your father to who is your husband. And that includes you. Mother, this I know. But why you are saying this is what I don't know. Have I not been a good mother to you? Have I not been playing my role as a mother to you? Have I not been giving you good advice as a mother? Mother, you're getting me all confused. Why are you asking me all those questions this night? Your father thinks that I have failed as a mother. May the gods forbid. Your father thinks I am not playing my role, giving you the necessary advice I need to give to you as a mother. Why would he even conceive such an idea? Or think about it. Where is it coming from? Your constant rejection of men that are coming to have your hand in marriage led him into thinking of such about me. Mother, I will get married when the time is right. When? To whom? My dear, if you do not hasten up to pick a husband, very soon men will start running away from you. They will say it. you are now old. Mama, mother, please, can you stop? The gods will not allow such a thing to happen to me. Then make up your mind. And try. Can I go to bed now? Greetings, Your Majesty. May the gods bless you, Kitchi. His Majesty demands your presence at once. I'll be right behind you. 
Listen, princess, you can go to bed, but think about what I told you. Okay? This is why you... This is why you called me out this night. Yes, it's very important. Okay, I will think about it. Good night, mother. Good night, my darling. Please, when you go to sleep, think deep about it and give me a positive answer. Think about it. Come on. Go to bed. I will. Come on. Tell me, Kenna, who taught you this great act of painting and drawing? Why would my princess want to know who taught me how to draw, how to paint? Because you are good at it. And everyone in this kingdom and beyond talks about how good you are. As a matter of fact, they call you the best, including me. You're not flattering me. No, I am not. And deep down your heart, you know I am speaking the truth. And sometimes it makes me wonder, if you are this good, then your master must be wonderful. So I would like to meet him so he can teach me how to draw just like you. <laughs> That's a big joke. I'm not joking. I am very serious, Ikenna. Okay, my princess, I must tell you that no one taught me. I was taught by the gods. My chi. I said it. <laughs> you know, I have always had it in my mind that this might just be a gift from the gods. And I am right. Ikenna, you are blessed. The gods have blessed you so much with such a great talent. Thank you. And I don't know if you will be gracious enough to teach me how to do this too. Who knows? One day I might have to draw you. <laughs> if that is going to make my princess happy, the princess of this great kingdom. If this is going to really make you happy, then I'll teach you. <gasps> Are your words true? If that is going to make you happy, I will teach you. I promise by the gods. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I truly appreciate this. You can know you're a good man. You're welcome. Thank you. You are a very handsome and hardworking young man whom the gods have blessed with such a great gift like this. A gift that attracts both high and mighty to you. 
So what is keeping you from doing what the other young men are doing? My precious, sorry, I do not just understand the question you just asked me. Iken, now why haven't you taken a bride? I... I am very sorry if I'm intruding or crossing my boundaries, but I am your friend. I believe I should ask questions like this. No, it's okay. I understand. But I have not seen the person that my heart seeks. Are you saying out of all the young maidens in this kingdom, none is worth being your wife? No, I didn't mean that at all. What I'm trying to say is that I have not seen the person and I know that the very day I will set my eyes on her, I will know. Then I will take her in as my wife. No matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter. No matter how long it takes. He does not feel the same way I feel. Does not even find me worthy to be his wife. <laughs> Every man in this village will kill, would do anything to have me as their wife. But here I am, loving someone who does not even love me, I'm not even sure he likes me. The irony of it all is that that is why I love him. Why I want to make him my... If you do not hasten up to pick a husband, there is a man who will start running away from you. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, Nkechi. What is it? I really think it's very late for you to be out here. My princess, you need to go up and sleep so that we, your maidens, can, can also sleep, my princess. Nkechi. My princess. You can go to bed, okay? Okay, my princess. I'll soon go to my room, okay? Mama! 
this shall never end. Wow. You mean you and your mom let them search the entire compound and you could not find anyone? My dear, this whole thing is really confusing. Honestly, I couldn't close my eyes all through the night because I was so much afraid. What exactly do we call this? <laughs> and you know, this whole thing feels like the same thing that happened to me yesterday at the farm. Who could be behind this? I will thank to the gods for saving you. Because it was actually the gods that came to your rescue last night. I don't know about that, but thank them all the same. So, where's your mother? She went to inform my uncle of the incident. So thoughtful of her. At least Sanyoku should be in a better position to explain what happened to you last night. Yes, yes, yes. That's very correct. That's one step in the right direction right now. Yeah. Uh, you see, I have to go and see my friend, Iken, now. Let me know if he's still alive. Uh, I don't understand what is happening in our kingdom. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. Iken now will be fine. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. Please. Extend our greetings to him. And also let him know what happened to Uju. Yeah, I will. I will. I know he's not aware of what happened to Uju. Else would have been here by now. Yeah, sure. Hmm? I mean, please, take care of Uju. I will. You don't need to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be on my way now. Okay. So, thank you so much for coming. May the gods bless you. You see. You <laughs> see. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Greet you can now. I will. Ah. It's okay. Thanks. I'm oh, fine. I was actually on my way to your house. Ah. Rina, I, I hope all is well. Because the expression on your face is not pleasant at all. It's about that your useless friend. That your stupid friend you call Ikenna. That fool of a friend. Uh, what did he do? Uh, has the spirit of death hovering around this kingdom looking for whom to kill as if he's dead him? So what nonsense are you talking about? Have you not heard? Heard what? Yesterday, a certain evil spirit attacked Amarachim at the farm. Then a strange spirit saved her last night. The same evil spirit that attacked Amarachim attacked her best friend, Uju, and almost strangled her. The good spirit suspected to be the one that saved Amarachim, saved Uju again. As I speak with you right now, Uju's mother is at Ogugu Shrine to tell the chief priest what happened to her daughter last night. Two minutes. Well, in that case, something worse than the said evil spirit is about to befall your friend again. May the gods of our land forbid. 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 Obina, what are you talking about? One that your friend. One that full of a friend you call Ikena to stay clear of my woman. Warn him. Else, who's on him? Else, I will invoke the spirit of my ancestors to go after him. What nonsense! But you, but you, eh? uh, please, which woman are you talking about? So, why are you asking me stupid questions? Are you the only one in this kingdom who doesn't know about my affairs with the princess? Uh, uh, are you talking about Princess Urena? No, I'm talking about Princess Agatha. What's on him? How many princesses do we have in this kingdom? How many? Look, I have it on good authority that your friend, that your stupid friend knows he cannot, is making advances on my woman. And my princess is visiting him, visiting him of, of late. What nonsense! Please do not be angry. Are you sure of what you're saying? I look like I'm bluffing to you. No, do not I'm, I'm joking to you. Warn your friend. Warn that idiot you call a friend. Warn him! He will not like what will befall him if I meet him next time. Warn him, I don't bluff.
How is your son? Ah, my king is doing well. Yoko, what brings you to my palace? Something of very great importance has brought me to your palace, Your Majesty. Mm. Uh, so, what, what is that? Yes. Two great, dangerous, strange spirits entered this kingdom yesterday. Having hovering around the kingdom. Excuse me. And we have to bear the waters before it gets to the anchor. Two of our mates were attacked huh? yesterday by those same spirits. Fortunately for them, they were saved by another greater strange spirit that is more positive. This is strange. Strange indeed. What do we do? It's strange indeed. Yes. Nothing goes for nothing, Your Majesty. What you do is, nothing goes for nothing. A sacrifice has to be performed. A, sacrifice? a serious sacrifice. A sacrifice? Very, very, very well then, you perform the sacrifice. Involved, Your Majesty. Two fat cows are involved, Your Majesty. Two pregnant pigs are involved, Your Majesty. Two black antelopes for the night activities of the bad spirits. And two pregnant serpents. Two black hens, fat hens. Two white cocks. Fourteen alligator pepper. Fourteen pieces of cola nut. Nine fat scorpions, pregnant scorpions. Eleven black ants. Nine one-eyed tortoises. One-eyed tortoise. Nine. It is not ordinary ritual. Your Majesty, it's a ritual that is of a difference. This is to avert the evil, the calamity. This is to save this kingdom. Um. Not all. That is not all. Fourteen little, little, beautiful. Chameleons. This is used to change the colors of the spirit from the negative to the positive. The bigger, bigger chameleons, 14. This is to welcome the positive spirit that will save our maidens in this kingdom. And of course, we get the eye of a lion. Then you get the eye of a millipede. You get the eye of a centipede. And then finally, you get the seven horns of snail. 
There are other things you cannot buy. This is between myself and the gods. But let the cabinet see it. Make provision for these items. Um, uh, oh no. Uh, what is in the treasure? Oh well, we have we have enough to take care of those items. Uh, Anyoko, we'll get back to you. Me, he cannot. Huh? I, I believed everything you've told me, but I never knew you were the greatest liar. I don't understand. You don't understand. Don't, don't even give me that pretentious look. Don't ever give me that pretentious look. So you've been seeing the princess, I never deem if you to let me know. Who is feeding you with all this nonsense? He cannot deny it that you are not dating the princess. He cannot. He cannot deny it that you don't want to double cross Obina to marry the princess. Deny it. Who is feeding you with all these lies? I went to see you. After I got an information that she was attacked by an evil spirit yesterday. Then on my way coming to this place, I met an angry looking Obina who asked me to warn you to desist from seeing his princess. Else, he will command the gods of his ancestors to visit you. Did you say an evil spirit attacked with you? Yes. Evil spirit attacked with you. But she was saved by this particular uh, good spirit. But that's not the point of discussion here. Do you have anything with the princess? Anyway, for your information, I do not have anything to do with the princess. She's just like a sister to me. Nothing, nothing much apart from the one you already, you already know. Does it mean that Sobina lied to me? Obviously. Oh, uh, Obina. I know that boy is a fool. But I didn't know he has become the greatest fool in this community. If I see that boy, he will regret what I will do to him. In fact, Let me not say what I would Anyway, do. anyway, anyway, forget about Obina and tell me more about Uju. Uh, that will be after I am done eating. Have you finished the food those um, palace mates prepared for us? Did I hear you say us? Uh, about, can, about uh, the are we not together again? <laughs> are we not together? Huh? I am amazing to eat you. Uh, welcome. <laughs> So, Father, how how did your meeting with the king go? Um, son, I was unable to discuss your marriage proposal to the princess with the king. How? How can you say you were unable to discuss my marriage proposal with the king? Before you left here, you told me you were going to discuss with the king about my my supposed uh, proposed marriage to the, to the daughter, the princess. Mm. Why are you not telling me that you're unable to discuss with the king? Calm down, calm down. I was about to discuss that's this proposal. With the king, when Ayoko walked in, Ayoko came to inform us that an evil spirit of death is already in our land, and that uh, a sacrifice must be must be performed to avert this this evil spirit of death in our kingdom. Father, you're getting me confused. So, because of this, you didn't discuss my marriage proposal with the king. Why? You don't understand. Ayoko said that. In fact, two maidens would have been killed yesterday. 
And if this sacrifice is not performed, so the king ordered me to go immediately to get those items that Anyoku needs to perform this sacrifice. That was what happened. This is serious. Ah, hey, not just serious. Now I have to go and get those items for Anyoku to perform this sacrifice. Eh? Before this calamity befalls our land, the gods forbid, let me be on my way. Your marriage proposal to the princess, let it be pending, Biko. Let it be pending. Mama, you mean Ayoko did not tell you what actually caused the attack on me? Mm. He only said you were attacked by a deadly evil spirit. And the same spirit was the one that attacked Amara yesterday. Uh, um, Mama, what of the spirit that saved us? He said it's a good spirit. Though it was strange to him. But my children, did you both offend anyone or any spirits? Mama, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Both of you were attacked by the same spirits the same day. And another strange spirit saved both of you. My children, this gives me cause to worry. Uh, Mama, we did not offend anyone. Let alone any spirit. Oh, did Anyoko say that we did? No, he didn't. And that means that whatever it is that happened to us is not our fault. I think you're right, my daughter. But I want both of you to be very careful this time around. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Yes, Mama. Yes. Your Majesty, this is very, very strange. What will such spirit be looking for in our land? I'll be the happiest man if I have an answer to that. Why will it be now? Why will it be now that we have a great serene in this kingdom? I just hope that this sacrifice will put a stop to the whole thing. <sighs> Greetings to the King and Queen of Enyato Kingdom. May the gods bless you. You say, my princess, mother. Father, I know you are still angry with me over what happened the other day. Oh, no, 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 no. Allow me, Father, for I am truly sorry for what I did. And I promise it will never happen again. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Urena, stand up and sit down. I have forgiven you. Sit down. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I'm so proud to have a husband like you. So, should I go ahead and uh, invite my friend and his son to commence the marriage rituals? Um, we should... Um, 
I'm sorry, what? I was trying to say we should. What? Princess! My princess! Princess! What is it? Princess! Princess! Yes. Princess! princess. What is it? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Aiko. Yeah. Are you done? Almost. But I'm waiting for her to come before we leave. Who is she? The princess. Aiko. Are you sure you told me the truth when you said you don't have any form of romance with the princess? By the gods, I do not have anything to do with the princess. Just as she requested I coach her on how to draw. Trying? You said? Yes. On her last visit, she said that she would like to learn this and I couldn't say no to her what in the world will the princess be doing with the act of drawing and painting I think she's the best position to answer that and I think there is more to this Aiko let's start going before the princess meets us here because it's very bad if you don't see you today. Yeah, you have a point there. Let me take this things inside. Off we go. Come in. Your razor. It's okay. Keep All right. Hello. Do not worry, okay? Take it easy. Take it easy. Your Majesty, we are talking about my only child here. My only child. She's my only child too. I trust the gods they will not allow anything to happen to her. Okay? I have sent a message across to Anyoku through one of the guards. I am very much sure that as soon as Anyoko arrives, he will do something about it. But at least we should thank the gods that she's still breathing. I hope this has nothing to do with the evil spirit Anyoko spoke to you about. I don't know yet, uh, but uh, I, I trust the gods. They will not allow anything to happen to our daughter. Calm down. <sighs> Gods of our land, please do not allow anything to happen to my daughter. She's all I have. Mm -hmm. I of the God. Are you not going to tell me what the gods have said concerning what happened to my daughter? Your Majesty, the gods are silent. What do you mean the gods are silent? May the gods forbid that I speak when they have not spoken. Yoko. My daughter, the princess, slumped while conversing with her mother and I. And I know it has a spiritual undertone. I brought you here to demystify the mysteries behind it. But you are not here or there. Your Majesty, I have no reason to hold back the messages of the gods. By the way, you and I should be busy concentrating on matters connected to the mysteries behind the calamities that have befallen this kingdom. You know who has gone to fetch the items which you demanded for the sacrifice? Well then, let us wait for the Onovo. 
be wise. We must go into deep prayers. Deep prayers so that the gods will preserve the princess. Are you suffering yourself under the sun like this? Mm. Eh? Mama, you're mm. not supposed to carry this type of load in your condition. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Hey. I know my children. Don't have anybody to help me since my husband died. I don't have any option than to do it myself. Mama, please, next time call on me. Or you call my friend here, Uzadima. Oh? oh? I will. Thank you so much. The gods bless you all. Say. Nah, can you leave me If it is food now, you eat more. Are you supposed to carry this thing by yourself, huh? Mama, you come here. It has gotten to this, you want to afford to share it. When it comes to food, right now, you will give me all that. So carry, carry, carry it from there. Why won't you, carry why won't you carry it? You know? My princess, please, you need to eat something. Permit me to get your food to eat, please. I can't. My princess, please, no matter how small it is, please. My princess, Igwe will be very angry if he gets to know that he did not eat anything. Please, let me get your food to eat. Kone, I am fine. I'm not hungry. Mama, you I greet you. I shall be well with you. Thank you. What's going on? Ma. Uh, I was pleading with the princess for me to get her something to eat, but she says she's not hungry. Okay, you can go. I'll take it up from here. Right. My love, I'm how are you? I'm fine. You cannot be fine in this condition. Hmm? Yes, darling. All I need now from you is your support. And by the gods, I will be alright. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. How is she? Um, I mean the princess. I don't even know what to say. Are you okay? You just went in there to call her and you're telling me you don't know. Are, are, are you okay? Okay, her health is not encouraging at all. 
She even refused to eat something. Eh? Hey! Uncle, something is wrong. Something is seriously wrong. It has never been heard that the princess of the Inyato kingdom is being attacked by any spirit whatsoever. So something is wrong. What are you trying to say? Is the princess not a human being? Uncle, it has never happened. It has never happened. This is because the great goddess of virginity shields and protects them. My father told me so. Okay, now it has happened. Are you not telling me that the princess is no longer a virgin? The uncle, don't, don't, don't put words into my mouth. I just told you what my father told me and you are talking another thing. The one from Biko. I see me. Don't, don't, don't. In fact, good night. Is it ever possible? What is going on in this kingdom? What is going on in this kingdom? going on here? Who must have kept this in here? What? What? What is this?
Why are you wallowing in your thoughts? What is bothering you? I'm sorry, Father. I didn't... I didn't notice you coming. How could you have noticed me when you are lost in thought? Talk to me, son. What's your problem? Father, I... I am worried about the princess. Mm. I am so worried. I mean... Father, what could be wrong with the princess? I mean, what exactly could be wrong with her? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. The whole thing is so confusing. She's not supposed to fall for any form of attack from any spirit. No, not our princess. You know, Father, you told me this yesterday. And that's exactly the reason I am more worried. I mean, I'm more concerned. What could be behind all this? I wish I knew. I don't know. I don't have an answer to this. <sighs> mm. Father, mm -hmm. will the princess ever be fine again? Only the gods have answers to that question. Not me. Even I your uncle does not even know. But let's look up to the gods. Why you mama my sister? Hi! It was just like a dream. Until I had my last push and saw my baby, my sister. It now dawned on me that it was not a dream, but real. I was so speechless and confused. Hi! I never seen oh uh, 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 Machi. Eh? Did you buy any mix? See her face clearly. No, now I don't ask such a question. The ray of light around her mm -hmm. made it so impossible for me to, 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 to see her face. Nah. You can't believe what I saw. Hey. It's so strange. Machi. Eh? Now I believe that it was the same spirit that visited my daughter. At the night, she was almost strangled by another spirit. No. Ever since I was born in this in this land, I've never seen this kind of a thing happen in this land before. What happened? Machi, this is the exact question that is on everyone's lips in this kingdom. Even our Igwe, even Anyoko, the chief priest. That is it. Everyone is asking questions, questions. No. I understand you, but we should also thank the gods for making it possible for the spirit to come to our rescue. Yes. If not it, nobody knows where we would have been now. Honestly. I have to thank the gods. Hey. Of course, thank you. Thank you. I'm up here. Thank you. My love. I I bought this for you to to apologize for for what happened some days ago. You see, I want you to know that I'm I'm really sorry. Yes, and I love you with all my heart. Listen, I am ready to do anything, anything just to, to make you happy. very much. I appreciate so much. And I want you to know that I love you too. Okay? Okay. Thank you for the dress. So, tell me, does that mean you, you've forgiven me already? Of course I have. Uh. <laughs> but, you have to talk to your sister, Mama. I don't like the way she talks to me. 
Make her to understand that I am your wife. I'm not some other woman. So promise me you're going to talk to her. Listen, about that, just leave it to me. I will talk to her and I promise she will never insult you again. Thank you. Well, honey, these dresses are so fine. Okay. Especially this one. I know. I, I, I selected this for you. <laughs> See my skin. It suits my skin. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. And this is, this is, this is fine too. Yes, but I kind of like this one very well. Yeah. I'm going to wear this one to that traditional marriage. It's what? fine. I, 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 I perfectly... I had to make this choice for you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Promise you're welcome. me you're not going to discuss anything that happens in the marriage. Okay? Oh, come on. Cross your heart. Cross my heart. <laughs> oh. You know what? I made a very delicious meal. Really? The best. The favorite. <laughs> okay. So, I'll be here. Just chill. Let me grab you. Don't worry. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. Now, baby. Mother, good morning. Good morning, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, mother. I thank the gods that you are back on your feet. Ah. Ah. How are you feeling now? Mother, I am fine. How are you? And how was your night? I did not sleep throughout the night. I was so worried about your health. Your father, the king, did not sleep either. He was awake all through, praying to the gods to restore your health. Thank the gods they answered him. Mother, I... Yes. I intentionally did what I did yesterday. I... I fell on purpose when you and dad were talking to me. What? Nothing happened to me. Princess! Mom. What in the name of the gods made you do that? Huh? Mother, I, I did not want to answer father's question concerning him informing Obina's father to proceed with the marriage right. And I didn't want to walk away from him or or not answer the question because it will come across to him as me being rude and I didn't want him to see it that way so I I, I thought of what to do and the only thing that came to my mind was to do what I did this is unbelievable princess mom mom I'm sorry I am really sorry please find it in your heart to forgive me Please. Mom. Mother. That is it. I do not know what it means, neither do I know who kept them. This is unbelievable. Could this be true? I mean, could this be possible? Who's the man? What is it? Are you saying that? I mean, do you know anything about this? If what my late father told me is anything to go by, then this great kingdom called Inyato is at the verge of seeing a new Ojiana Maun, the new leader of the great masquerade group. What do you mean? Standing before us is the sacred Oji of the Great Inyato Masquerade Group. It can only appear when the gods are chosen the new leader. 
the three eggs, the three palm leaves, and the three enzu represents the three great villages that make up this kingdom. You mean your father told you all you've just said? My father was a member of the masquerade group. And you know it. Zodima, what do I do now? Nothing. Until Anyoko, the chief priest of Ogugu Shrine, gets the sign and comes for it. Eye of the gods, what message did you bring from Awachi? Have they been able to communicate with you concerning the evil spirit of death hovering in this land? Your Majesty, we have go by the highway. We don't force the he goat upon the she goat. At the appropriate time, the gods will speak. Meanwhile, I bring you greetings from the gods. Well, I, I greet them in return. Your Majesty, our new masquerade leader has been chosen by the gods. I got a sign a few minutes ago. And that is why I am here to inform you officially in accordance with our tradition. And uh, who is this chosen one? Your Majesty. A parcel meant to be opened is not supposed to be pinched. As soon as I leave here, I will trace the OG to the house of the person. And when I get there, I will know exactly who the person is. Hmm. May the gods lead you to. And may you live long, my king. I will make a brief stop over in my shrine. For special and sacred orgy, the noble orgy of this kingdom, of the gods, will never go there with me. Very well, then. Okay, you want to go? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I did what I am supposed to do for a friend. But if it were to be me, you would have done the same thing for me. My sister, you're such a nice woman. Your kind is rare. 
You hardly see your type in this land. You are a very nice person. I will always take care of you and hey. your newborn baby. See, you become very strong to yeah. take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and may the so gods much. bless you it's, and your daughter for me. It's a, okay. I will be on my way now. My regards to your daughter. Okay, Would I will. You? All right. Thank you. Okay. May the gods bless you. It's a please. Take care of yourself. I will. Make sure you breastfeed our baby very well. Oh. <laughs> I will. Make sure. I will. And drink hot water, okay? I will. Let me be on my way. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Take care of yourself. Oh. oh. The gods have chosen you to serve them. You are going to be the next leader of the masquerade group. Whenever the sack is filled, it is tied. The ritualistic ceremony and the cleansing that will usher you into the prestigious position will commence in no distant time. The breadfruit falls at its appropriate time. Makanaga Karaka, Anahe Ringoro. An anticipated battle does not consume the cripple. As work I hear you, then I thought to Ungigamu. One who gather, we will have a complete number of those of us that die and that eat the vulture meat, we bring down. The basket of the spirits. Onye ba tru no bi na yoti a yome okoto no bi onye. When the sound of gun is heard in your father's compound, and you shy away, whose compound do you want the sound? Get yourself prepared. Kadabo mu.
Makonya matru no bi na yoti a yo me okoto no bi onye. Hey, babu ngongo odi na mo, babu ngongo, babu ngongo odi na mo, babu ngongo. Ebenta hejenta ku isi mu hejenta ku afu mu hejenta ku ugu mu hejenta ku akam mu hejenta ku hejenta ku hejenta ku ugu mu hejenta ku. You said you want to have a word with me. Hope all is well. Hello, my beautiful sister. <laughs> my very lovely and wonderful sister. It's been long you called me your lovely and beautiful sister. So, what brought about the sudden change? <laughs> Hello, Machi, my beautiful sister. There is no change anywhere. I mean, nothing changed. You know, you're still my beautiful and lovely sister. You know, you're the only family I have. I'm glad you now realize that I'm the only family member that you have. Of course. Because I no longer understand you. Listen, I realize you're the only family member I have. And you know what? Nothing will ever change that. That's a promise. Hmm? I need you to just calm down. Alright? Now, you see, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I want, to, I want to apologize for what happened the other day. Listen, it was never my intention to hurt you. You need to find a place in your heart and forgive me. Please. Remember we are families. You see, let me make a point here. Okay. I'm your sister. And it's not how I will sit down and watch evil before you. That was why I did what I did. Okay. And you just you just Turned everything around. That's, that's, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Listen, I want you to know that your brother is going to be fine. Your brother is fine. He, you don't have anything to worry about. I'll be careful, and it's a promise. Hmm? It's okay. So, are we good now? I feel like I'm forgiving you like that, so. <laughs> don't worry. I know what you want. And I'll get it for you. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? It's okay. Mm -hmm. So we are good now. <laughs> not like we are good like that. So, so not, not like you, know, you didn't bring anything. Don't worry, Just I'll get something for you. I thought you said you love me. And you want to make me your bride. Of course, my princess, I love you. Okay, I mean, none of that has changed. I love you with everything that makes me a man. I love you from the deepest part of my heart, okay? I will not hesitate to make you my bride the moment you give me your consent. I do not believe a word that came out of your mouth just now. Because if you truly love me like you claim, Obina, something happened to me yesterday you did not bother in any way to check up on me and see how this woman you so much love and want to make your bride is faring. Yet you came here to tell me you love me. Come on, my princess, that's not true. No, come on, that's not true. I mean, I, I rushed here the moment I heard the news. My princess, that's, that's the fact. Look, why, why, why would I stay back when I heard such news? I came and uh, one of your, your, your maids, uh, uh, Nkholi, told me that you were sleeping and you never want to be disturbed. So, I had to go back home. Obina, I have pictured you to be so many things. But I have never pictured you a liar. So why are you lying? Why exactly are you lying? Come on, my princess. I mean, why would I lie? I'm not lying, for God's sake. <laughs> All right. Uncle Lee! Uncle Alright. 
He said he was here to see me yesterday. Yes, my precious. But I told him that you are sleeping. I see. You can go. Am I vindicated now? Fine. You came to check up on me and you were told I was sleeping. Obina, why didn't you wait for me to wake up so you can see how I was faring to be sure? Like if you were truly here to see me like you said and not to fulfill all righteousness. You should have waited for the person you came to see to wake up. They see her before you leave. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, my princess. Okay, pardon my manners. I'm sorry I'm laughing. Okay, well, come on. I mean, you know people know me very well. You know I would want to stay. You know I would never want to leave for anything in this world. At least to see your pretty face. Come on. You were sleeping. Okay, I didn't know when you were going to wake, so... Alright, fine. I'm sorry. Okay, I am very sorry. Please, forgive me. Please. Your Highness, the items needed for the sacrifice, they are all ready. All we're waiting for now is for the chief priest to give us a date so that we can start uh, the sacrifice. In that case, Your Highness, we have to go immediately to see Anyoko so that he give us a date for the sacrifice. The time is ripe. Eh? This is a matter of primary priority. We cannot afford to joke with it. Well, um, <clears throat> Anyoko was here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. So has he given us a date for the sacrifice? Well, um, he did not come here to talk about the sacrifice. Then what did he come here to do, Your Majesty? We can't afford to be joking with all this. What else could the eye of the gods be talking about, if not the issue on ground? Well, um, he was here to intimate me about um, a new leader being chosen for the masquerade group. That was why he was here. Ah. Um, Your Majesty, who did they choose? He did not tell me either. According to him, uh, he said he received a message and uh, he was intimated that the sacred OG is already at the compound of the one chosen. He left here not quite long ago to, of course, uh, trace the OG and know exactly who that person is. Mm -hmm. Tracing the OG. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's alright. It's alright. I was planning coming to see you later in the day. But thanks to the gods for bringing you my way this minute. I'm coming to see me later in the day. I hope all is well. Ah, how can all be well? Eh? How can all be well? When you lied against a noble man of this kingdom, how can all be well? Tanishin, look, 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 Ozadima, whatever they call you. I do not want to insult you, but why do you always keep talking nonsense? Why on earth will you gossip with my friend's name and accuse him of having a secret romance with the princess when you know he's not having any romance with the princess? My friend, listen. I did not gossip with anybody, let alone that your so-called stupid friend, Ikena. Why are you to gossip with your friend? But let me tell you, as far as this kingdom is concerned, I have intels everywhere. Okay? I have intels everywhere. And my source is very, very reliable. What reliable source are you talking about, obi now? No, tell me, what reliable source are you talking about? So you are one of those useless, senseless, and idiotic boys who go about in this kingdom, tarnishing and destroying people's image. What? No, how dare you? What's the matter? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Are you crazy? Something wrong with you? I thought you were a noble man of this kingdom. But now I am convinced that you are a fool. Not just a fool, a bigger fool. Listen and listen real good. There's this from destroying my friend's name else. You have both of us to contend with. Listen, hey, I do not have time for this madness. But let me warn you, never in your miserable life cross my path again. <laughs> Ozodimanyawo, 
does not banter words with people, let alone someone like you. Do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. I hope I'm not moving too much. No, no. You're good. You will love what I'm doing here. You I cannot it. wait to see it. Don't worry. When I'm done and frame it, gloss it. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah>. trip. <laughs> You're making me move. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> The most beautiful I've ever seen. The most beautiful maiden in the whole world. Your beauty I've never seen. Okay, uh, we're there. We're there. Twist your face. Good, 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 good. Your beauty remains in my heart, in my head, in my memory. I can never stop thinking of you. Ike, now what is this? Uh, I, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Whose image is this? A princess, that is you. That's your image you're holding. You're beautiful you. How does this look like me? No, no, no. Ho hold on, Ike, now. Is this some type of joke or something? Is there something I'm missing here? Because this definitely is not me. Princess, position well, look at it well, look at your nose, your mouth, everything is complete. I got it right. Don't you like it? Ikena, are you crazy? No, 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 are you insane? How can you say this is me? Who is this maiden you have drawn? Who did you draw in place of me? Where is my image? Did you, did, you, did you keep me here the whole day to draw a, the image of another maiden? What insult is this? Princess, you're getting me confused. This, this is you. Ikena, are you okay? Ikena, are you alright? How can this be me? Ikena, else? How do you explain this? How is this me? I mean, look at it. Take a look at, at what you gave me. I see you brought me here to ridicule me. I see you brought me here to make a laughing stock of me. But it's okay. Let's go. It smells nice. The face is even very fine. Hmm. <laughs> Do you like the food? Hmm. You know, I love this food. 
See, I must confess that you made a very delicious food. Thank you. Mm. Ah, ah, mm. ah, ah, ah. What? You're making me jealous. <laughs> May I take our wife? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're making me mm. jealous. Oh, yeah, take. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Can you say please? Uh, please. Wonderful. <laughs> but I'm jealous, I'll feed you too. Mm -hmm. Is that get your husband? Nah, Allow know. her to do it. He's mine. You know, this is the kind of family I want. The family where there is no quarrel, we enjoy ourselves, and everything is fine. Now, I'm happy. We have settled all our differences. No more quarrels. <laughs> No more kata kata, no more anything. I want to say thank you, and I'm so happy. Yeah, there will be fine. no quarrel. There will be no kata kata, no giri giri, no more fighting. Are you sure? I know you people say I'm the trouble someone. Uh -huh. I promise there's no more trouble. <laughs> All of my team, are you sure? But I'm sure. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I my heart. Are you sure? <laughs> of course, I'm taking your word for it, too. Yes, brother. Right. No enjoy your right. food. Please, let's, no. let's obtain table manners, no pork. Let's just enjoy this. Meal. I have one for you, I have one for you. Mm. Stop! <laughs> I'm jealous. Don't worry. I'll get a hot one for you, yeah? Ah, but I don't mm. need to. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so you give me this recipe. You have to pay. I, I greet you, my princess. Greetings, Soso Dima. My princess, you don't look bright. What is the problem? The problem is your friend. He cannot decide to rub mud on my face this afternoon. Uh, please, my princess, do not be angry. Because I know he cannot, my friend, will not undermine your personality or position as the princess of this kingdom. Please, what did he do? I think your friend will be in a better position to tell you the level of insult he hit on me this afternoon. Greetings, the three great men. Three great men that represent the three noble villages of Enyato Kingdom. You're welcome, Wesley. And what has brought you here this time of the day? The decision makers of our noble kingdom. Why are you here? Wise one, we greet you. It is no longer news that a certain evil spirit of death has been hovering around this land for some time now. We are here to inform you that the numerous items you said the gods requested from us to perform the sacrifice, which are humanly possible. They are ready. And I remember that uh, you and Yoko said you will provide the remainder. So we are here to appeal to you to let us perform this sacrifice and let us unravel this evil spirit that has been tormenting our land. Let the gods help us. We are ready. Um, Eye of the Gods. That is true. Uh, so, where and when will the sacrifice take place? The Gods have not revealed 
where and where it will take place. Ah. Huh? Eye of the gods. How do you mean the gods have not revealed where and when the sacrifice should take place? Enokwa. Yeah? But these same gods revealed to you all the items required for this sacrifice. And now they are silent as to where and when the sacrifice must take place. How come? And we have provided the items. We brought the items. Some of the items. Uh -huh. The going of the masquerade is never the same with its return. The ways of the gods are not the ways of men. Anyoko, please help us to appease the gods. Let them tell us when, where, and how. This sacrifice will be performed. We don't want to lose our people. Please. I will make further consultations on that. Meanwhile, when you get home, you know, mm -hmm. tell the king that Ikina, the son of Udumo Diako of a German village, is going to be the leader, the next leader of the great and noble masquerade group of our kingdom. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm, it can now. Let's go. Very, very well then. The king will hear your message. Thank you. Sons of Enyato Kingdom, sit in front of you all day for you to draw her image, only for you to come up with this thing as her. You can now, what is the problem? Also, the man, I am as confused as whatever you're thinking right now. What do you mean by that? You know, while I was drawing her, I was very much sure that I was focusing on her while drawing this image. But I didn't know what happened. I didn't know how I came up with this. See, what you are saying sounds so funny to my ears. But I will advise you to go and see the princess and explain this to her. Because what you did was a total disrespect to her personality. But it wasn't intentional. Explain that to her when you see her. Alright? Meanwhile, do you... Do you have food at home? I'm asking you now, do you have food at home? Don't worry, don't answer me. I can find my way. Hmm? Mm. Tell me, Kenna, why is it that a young, handsome man like you is still single and you don't seem to be searching? I've told you before that I've not seen the woman of my dream. Immediately I see her, I am going to get married to her. And who is this woman of your dream you always talk about? What does she look like? What do you want her to look like? What qualities do you want her to possess? And have you seen her before? <laughs> mm. She's very tall. Very fair. 
extremely beautiful with a heart of gold. She's intelligent. She's God fearing. She's a wonderful person. She possesses everything I want in a woman. She's highly gifted and favored by the gods. Hmm. All these qualities in a lady. And you speak of her as if you've seen her before. Have you? I've never seen her before. I only see her in my dreams. I call her my perfect woman. The light of the world. Um, you can start with the drawing. What exactly was the meaning of what he cannot did to me today? Did he actually do that to insult my personality? Or was it just a mistake? No. That wasn't a mistake. That was a deliberate act. He knew what he was doing. Honestly speaking, I didn't know what happened that day. I didn't just understand what happened. Ekin, I think I understand you. Okay? She herself, she didn't even understand what happened. She thinks I deliberately did it. See, to be sincere with you, if I were to be in her shoes, I would feel the same way. Seriously? Yes. And even you, you will feel the same. Or even react worse than she did. The best thing I think you should do is to go and apologize to her, just like Ozodema, your friend, advised you to. Can't you change this topic? Can't you? Better still, go to a place I can't hear this conversation and have your discussion. I mean, I'm tired of this princess who ran issues. What is it now? Look, I don't have a problem with her. But I mean, I'm tired of hearing this arrogant princess issue. I'm tired. I... What is going on here? Oza. Eh? I'm in mean, one. Um, eh? <laughs> Alpha. I did. Nothing else she's asking us uh, to why change. Why is that? She just face like this. She wants us to change the topic of our discussion. What were you guys discussing about? We were just talking about what happened between uh, Princess Irene and Ikenna. That's all. Ikenna, if you people don't change this topic, I will leave this place for you. Uh-uh. Has it gotten to that? It has not. No, no, nah, it has not gotten to that. Okay, okay, okay. I am sorry. We'll change the topic. Are you okay now? Uh, it has not gotten to that now. Uh, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> I found a guy the empty. Uh? I'm hungry. You won't touch your son, you man. Oh, 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 Robin, Robin, the gods has finally smiled on us. 
Father, what, what do you mean by the gods of father is mad at us? Hey, wait. <clears throat> I'm just from the palace. Yes. And Igwe said uh, the marriage rights uh, can commence now. Yeah. Uh, the princess has finally given her consent ah! to everything. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Moa, no mau. I'm a big masculine. Masculines don't lie. I don't lie. I cannot lie. Father, Father I am. Hey, Father, this is the best news. Father, this is the best news I've heard in recent time. Father, I, I am the happiest man in India talking to right now. I can't ah. say it. I can't say it. You don't need to tell me. Father, so, um, so uh, what do we do next? I mean, where do we start? Are you not a young man of Enyato Kingdom? The first thing you do is you take her to Gugu Shrine for proper presentation to the gods. There and then you propose to her and her acceptance will take us to the next level. Go, ahead, go. <laughs> My father! <laughs> you see why I'm always proud of you? <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. So, um, father, can, can we do that right away? Can we do that today? Don't be in a hurry. Uh, Igwe said we should start everything the next half of market day. Ah. Uh, so be patient. Sorry, be patient, man. Father, I cannot wait for that day to come. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Father. It um, Father, this calls for celebration. Oh, Let yes. me get you. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. I'll take my own drinks inside. Let me pull off. <laughs> Let me pull off my legalia. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Hey, wait. It is not oh. easy. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you. Ah. Princess, I am so happy. I'm so happy that you have accepted to marry a young man. Father said the marriage process will commence in the next half for market day. Yes. He will propose to you officially before the shrine of Ogogo. So it's our tradition that every young man of this kingdom, that want to marry a maiden of this kingdom, must go through that ritual. If the maiden accepts him before the gods, then the marriage is sealed. But if she rejects him before the gods, then there's a problem. Mother, what do you mean there is a problem if the maiden rejects the man? <laughs> My daughter, I wouldn't want to go into that. Because no one prays for such to happen to his or her own person. The most important thing here is that you have accepted to marry the young man. And I'm so happy about it. So much hatred for Princess Zorella. Do you see her as a threat? I don't like her. She's full of herself and she's arrogant. Well, I don't see the princess that way. Uh, good for you. Come to think of it, why did you say I see her as a threat? Would you? Have you developed feelings for our friend Kenna? Is, is a, a, anything wrong with that? Ikena is a man every maiden of this land would want for a husband. Oh, wow. I said it. I said it. Now I know why you don't want to hear anything about the princess. Especially when it has something to do with Ikena. <laughs> you are scared she will take him away from you. <laughs> My friend, why not just tell Ikena how you feel? You know, sometimes I wonder the kind of person that you are. How would you ask me to do such a thing? Ikena is just a friend to me, just as he is to you. Yes. Well, if you actually feel something for Ikena, there is nothing wrong with you telling him how you feel. Amara, is it possible we change this topic? Is it? <laughs> well, the truth is bitter. <laughs> But it must be told. Right? <laughs> I'm your friend. I will always follow you around. <laughs> you have fallen for him. I am very sure of that. Would you? 
You cannot run away from me though. I'm, I know that. I'm a... So go to the room, my bedroom, pack those clothes on the floor and wash them, okay? What are you doing here? Greetings, princess. Gre Hold that stupid greetings of yours to yourself. What are you doing here? Please, can eh, you? Eh, what did you bring your rickety self into this compound to do? Eh, eh, you cannot get out before I do something stupid. Please, can you come down and hear me out? Please. And what nonsense can a son of a nobody possibly want to say to me? Princess, I know I made you angry, okay? What happened the other day wasn't intentional at all. But that's not the reason it should be raining insult on me because I've come to say sorry for what I did to you. How, how dare you talk to me in that manner? How dare you? How dare you speak to me like this in front of my mates? What, what did you just do? Oh, what did I just do? Well, I will do it again and I will do even worse if you don't get your wicked self out of this compound right now. You see, I, I, I still can't understand why the gods allowed you to possess such level of arrogance. Yes, because th this is one thing I hate about you. I'm telling you. How hey, yeah, Genzi, don't even try it next time. If you did try this the next time, even get Meggy, you'll be surprised. Allah. Don't try it, oh. Try it next time, I'll just slap the hell out of you. It will be here with you, And what are you two looking at? No, what are you looking at? Huh? What are the two of you looking at? God's blind those eyes of your stupid idiots. Now get out of my face. Get out before I do something nasty. Tells me all is not well with you. What's the problem? I've never been humiliated like this all my life. What do you mean by that statement? I wonder what the land of Enyato will become in the future if the character like Urena finally becomes the queen of this land. Ikena, what's going on? Why speak of your very good friend in such manner? I thought she was your favorite. Are you mocking me or what? Ah, this is serious. What is going on? Anyway, I want to see Princess Urena and to apologize about what happened the other day. She rained all sorts of insults on me and even slapped me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's, what's, sorry, uh, sorry. what's so funny? Sorry. I'm just happy you've gotten what you wanted. You know I've told you severally that that girl is arrogant and full of herself, but yet, none of you want to listen to me. I'm happy she has shown you a little of her real self. Yes. Ujungwa, hmm? I least expected this from you. What were you expecting, Ikenna? Please, I'm on my way to deliver a message to Mama Yusu. I have to go before she leaves the house, okay? I'll see you, my very good friend. I'm very handsome friend. I'll see you, okay? went too far. She shouldn't have slapped him. Yes. 
my dear, I understand what you're saying. Eh? But don't you think that the princess did what she did because she was badly hurt by that young man? How? As, As in, what do you mean? Is it not obvious that the princess lost and wants Ikenna so badly? Does that justify what just happened down there? Excuse me. If the princess loves Ikenna, as you claim, she should have been matured enough to tell him. Better still, she should have allowed Ikenna to notice the love she has for him and maybe Ikenna would have given her a chance. Mm -hmm. My dear, what you are saying is supposed to happen the other way around. But how do you expect the princess to do that? Nkoli, if someone wants something so badly, he or she should go for it. All I know is that what she did, or the wrong man, yes, uh, the young man messed up by drawing whoever he drew, you know, you, you know. But he, he came to apologize. Okay, it wasn't okay. Mm. It wasn't good. It was not good. Yes, I, I don't not. support evil. You yeah. know me. I don't. I don't support yeah, no, people. I support. <laughs> I, it's like you support. <laughs> Just, just go in, inside. inside. But I know I cannot take that, right? Why do you want to try? But don't talk to me. What's the problem? You look so scared. Are you scaring me too? I had a very terrible dream. Terrible dream? Yes. Like, right here? Yes. I, I just, I just dozed off moments ago and, and I saw my wife in the dream. Me with a cutlass. Yes. She made an attempt on my life. She wanted to kill me. Huh. I mean, she even gave me a cut. Ha! Huh. Brother, that is serious. Yes. Brother, this is a very bad dream. Yes. Something is wrong somewhere. Huh. Yes. You. You. You think so? Think so? You're asking me if I think so, brother. But I know so. <laughs> if you want me to go be sleeping now, but that's what is not right, so. Hey, Ikenna. Mm -hmm. I am telling you. I came face to face with death last night, Ikenna. Hmm. Ha. Ikenna, you would have been crying by now for losing your best friend to the cold hands of death. If not for that maiden, that maiden that came to my rescue. May the gods forbid. Mm. What is really going on in this land? I, I don't know, but something is really going wrong. How do you explain that fact? How, how did the python get into my house? How? How do you explain that? Our kingdom is not known for having python. So how can you explain that? Hmm. This is really giving me serious concern. Seriously. Well, come to think of it, who was the maiden you said that came to your rescue? Uh, same maiden. Same maiden that's always saved people from troubles. You know, because I saw the same ray of light that they talk about. But the only different thing here is that I, 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 I saw her face. Hmm. Yes. Are you serious? Very serious. I, I saw her face. She's... She's so beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm. As a matter of fact, you can, I, I have never seen any maiden in this kingdom as beautiful as her. No, this maiden can be likened to that imaginary bride you, you always talk about. Very beautiful, beautiful maiden. Hmm. 
and I don't get the picture. So you're here to mock me, right? Oh no, far from that, Ikenna. How can I mock you? I am telling you the truth. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Absolutely, I cannot lie to you. You are sure? Absolutely, I am sure I can't lie to you. Okay. Just wait for me. I'll be right back. Okay? Hey. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to somewhere very important. Just take care of the house. I'll be back. Kenna! Kenna! Greetings, Your Majesty. May you live long. And where are you up to this early morning? I am going to visit a friend of mine, and it's... What has brought you to the shrine of Fumu this time? A certain strange spirit that have been saving people from this land the strange spirits have been saving people from evil spirits that kills us in this land. Please, who is she? You started your story by first talking about a certain strange spirit that has been saving our people. And you ended up asking me about the maiden. Why are you sounding this way? This strange spirit is a maiden I'm talking about. She saved my friend from a big python. And he told me that he saw her face. That she's a very beautiful maiden. So please, I wish to know, who is she? Are you telling me you left your house to this place? To ask questions about your friend and his dreams or experiences last night? Don't create the impression that you, the next leader of the noble masquerade group of this land, does not know the right thing to do. Does not know what to think about. What is important and what is less important. The eyes of the gods, that which you consider less important, is very important to me right now. Please tell me, who is she? Well, um, the ritual, the ceremony, the purification, the psychic preparation towards you rising to the position of the next leader of the masculine group of this land is at hand. So, go home, get prepared. Mother, something strange happened last night. And what could that be? All this while I've been going to save lives in Inyato Kingdom. No one ever saw my face clearly. In fact, I can beat my chest and say they don't know me. They can't even tell if I'm a spirit or human. I know about all this. What exactly are you trying to say here? A certain young man whom I saved from a python bite in his house last night. He saw my face and he said I'm a beautiful maiden. He even asked who I am and where I come from. Mother, he saw my face clearly. Why did that happen? The time is very close. You are confusing me. I don't understand. That the gods blessed you with a special power does not mean you are a spirit. You are a human being. 
the gods made you invisible to the people of Enyata. For the same gods to make a young man from the same kingdom to see your face clearly last night means that the time they have been waiting for is very close. The more I try to understand you, the more confused you make me be. What time are you talking about here? For everything under the sun, there is a time and season. The gods will open your eyes for you to see all you need to know. Just continue being faithful to them. Mother, why can't you tell me what I need to know? My daughter, go to the kitchen and check what you are cooking. Come to save my people in form of a spirit. Come out, I want to have a word with you. I want to see you. Who's that even my friend said that you're likely to be the description of my dream bride? Come out! I need to set my eyes on you to know if you're the, if you're actually what I have in my head as my dream woman. I need to see you. Please come out and save me this stress. Come and save me this stress. I want to see you. I, I, I know you're beautiful. I know. Save me, save me this stress. Where are you? I need to see you. I want to see you. I want to feel you. I want to see what you look like. Come out! young man what is wrong with this young man is he going mad or something gods of our land is this who is going to take over the prestigious position of leadership of all the masculine groups in the Nyato Kingdom, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Oh! 
Thank the gods for making my journey short. What is it? I was on my way to your house. And what business does the god of Inyato have in my place? Nibe wants to see you. He asked me to bring you to the palace at once. Is everything all right? Hmm. I'm not in the best position to tell you anything. Nibe is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you scared? Come. Greetings, the king of Enyato Kingdom. I came as soon as the guard you asked to fetch me delivered the message. Sit down. Thank you, my king. There is rumor that you, in particular, is talking about a certain strange maiden Crying to know if she is a, a ghost, a real human being. How true is that? My king, I, I did not see anything wrong in that. I, I, and besides, I would love to see her. It's very important. A man whose house is on fire does not go chasing rats. My king, I do not understand what you mean by that. Two prominent men of this kingdom were reported dead last night. And of course you know that these people are cream de la cream of people that make things happen in this kingdom. Their barriers are pending simply because the person who is supposed to be the new leader of the masculine group is yet to emerge. Of course, the person supposed to be at the forefront of the ritual that will herald the barrier of these people. Why have you chosen to leave that which is important and chasing dreams? My king, please, if you do not mind, can you graciously talk to me in a language I will understand? Why have you decided not to take a wife for yourself? Don't you know that this has been a barricade? which is stopping you from imagining as a new group leader of this masquerade. My king, I know. I'm walking towards that. Do whatever you can to stop this calamity that is before us. Baby, why did you stop? What kind of useless question is that? What sort of useless question is that? What is going on? Why are you yelling? You asking me? No, no, you asking me what is going on? I mean, who, who is this? Who is this Tony you keep mentioning each time I'm making love to you? Who? I don't know who is Tony. Did I mention Tony? What? Did, did you just ask me that? I don't know who is Tony. I'm confused. There's oh, yes, you mentioned Tony. But I don't know who is Tony, and I didn't hear myself mention any Tony. Really? I, I didn't say Tony. I don't even know who Tony is. What, what is. what is wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with me. You're the one acting up. I don't know who is Tony. So where are you getting this Tony from? Okay. So if you don't know who is Tony, that means I'm lying. I didn't say so. No, that means I'm lying. I didn't say you're lying. 
I didn't say so, but I didn't. It's fine. Anything. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, since I'm lying, you see this house? No more sex. Leave me. You can't say that. What oh, rubbish? We continue. You can't say that. I'm your wife. If you deny me sex, do you want me to go outside? No, of course you won't want that. Oh, Jesus. You don't. You can't stop now. Do you know? I did not mention Tony, so I don't even know where you get this Tony from. Ikenda. 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 Ah. Oi. Ah. Who's up? Huh? Morning. Good morning, Ikenda. Mm. Don't tell me you're just waking up now. I didn't just sleep well last night. What happened? Don't tell me you went in search of that spirit cure last night. I did. I searched like five families. But I couldn't find her. Not even her shadow. Genna. You're just an idiot. Hmm? You had me well. Why are you insulting me? Why did, what did I do? What have I done wrong? Go, go, go and get your cutlass. Let's go to the farm. Well, I can't go with you immediately. I want to go and see Anyoko. I will join you later. This wasn't our agreement. What is the problem with you? It's very important I see him. Okay? I will join you later. Let's go. I'll meet up with you later. Okay, now. of my forefathers I have come this day to present to you the princess of our great kingdom the maiden after my heart the maiden I have chosen to call my bride I pray you this day Ogugu that you remove the spirit of arrogance and anger from the woman whom I have chosen to call my bride. I also pray that you bless our union to be the best in Ayato Kingdom. Anyoko, please, I, I, I want to see you. Ah! How dare you barge into this place? Uh, Anyoko. This is a sacred place. The board of the gods. How dare you interrupt such process? I, 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 Anyoko, I, I am sorry. I didn't even know that there's such process is going on here. And I never knew that my presence would disturb anything. Biko, I am sorry. Balo. Oh, But I still want to see you, Biko. Hey! I don't know who 
I cannot see you now until this process is over. Leave at once. Huh? I want to see your back right now. Go, 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 go. Yes, uh, it is your turn, my princess. Continue. I wish to... I wish to... I want to go out. To where? To any other kingdom. To do what? Mother, well, something tells me someone needs my help in that kingdom. You have never visited any other kingdom without the approval of the gods. Why do you want to start now? I'm so sorry, mother of mine. But I have this strong feeling that all is not well in that kingdom. That someone needs my help. Daughter of light, you have always lived a life prepared for you by the gods. The gods have always led you in all you do. Why do you want to change that now? Please, my daughter, don't change. My husband, please believe me. I'm not cheating on you. You know me very well. You know I can't even cheat on you. What? What? Believe me. What I don't understand is... Who is this Tony you are mentioning? Who is he? Who is this Tony you keep mentioning each time I'm making love to you? My love, this whole thing is strange to me. I don't even know who Tony is. Let alone have anything to do with him. I am your wife. You need to believe You don't know who Tony is? I don't. I think it is now obvious to me that you don't want to say the truth. Brother, you are right. You are very correct. She doesn't want to say the truth. Baby, why are you doing My this? My friend, shut your mouth. When you start to get? Shut your mouth. If you don't have anything to contribute, shut it there. You're not supposed to talk. Mm. Who invited you to this matter? Nobody has to invite me. See, shut your mouth. This Nobody has to invite me. I and my husband. Nobody has to invite me. Talk Maybe. to your sister. It's my brother we're talking about, so you have to say the truth. Olomachi, let me ask you. What truth are you even talking about here? The truth is, it's either you're cheating on my brother or you have a spiritual husband. Olomachi, uh, Olomachi, Olomachi. Do you, do you have any evidence to back up this, this claim? Brother, what other evidence do you need? What other evidence do you need? Okay, tell me, which woman, married woman, know that her husband will be making love to and she'll be mentioning the name of another man? Honey, you know me. You know your wife. I cannot cheat on you. You know me very well. Don't listen to your sister. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Are you, are you okay? Don't listen to your sister. How people still remember a tradition? And, and what tradition are you talking about? Brother, you know the tradition. The tradition that says the man whose wife goes out to meet another man and comes back to cook for the same man, that man will die. Because Brother, do you want to die? My husband hey. will not die. Brother, do you want to die? Me, I don't want to lose you. Don't do this woman from the night, You know me very well. Uh, Igwe, Anyoko, the chief priest of Ogugu, told me yesterday that the gods have said that the sacrifice must be made on the next Ike market day. Moreover, Ikenna, the son of Uduma, Obiako, must perform the sacrifice. Excuse me? Why would the gods ask us to perform a sacrifice on a kede instead of our usual for day? It is so ridiculous that the young man they chose to, is not yet married. And you all know that a person of such marital status is not fit for such sacrifice. Mm, you are very right, your majesty. You know, 
we cannot afford to make any mistake of this. So I suggest that uh, Anyoku goes back to the gods and consult them again. Because we all know what will happen if something goes wrong. Uh, but it was the same gods who told him exactly what Onohu has told us here. It's not the same gods, no way. So what are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with Anyoku going back to the gods. Let him consult them again. Elders of our land, I greet you all. Igwe, I greet you. Elders of our land, I, I greet you all. My son, you look so solemn. And that explains one thing, which is anger. What is it? Igwe is the princess. Igwe, the princess spoiled the entire process. She messed it up. How hard do you mean, son? Excuse me. Everything was going on as planned. I mean, everything was going on smoothly. Until the arrival of one, one useless, stupid Ike Naobiako, who came and spoiled everything. Hey, my son, please, please, please. Yeah? Do not refer to the next masculine leader of Orlando, stupid. Please, eh? Yeah? Accord him some respect. You know what? Obino, what did Ike Na go there to do? Exactly my point, Igwe. Nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. He deliberately came there to spoil everything. And you know what you have just said now? It's absolutely wrong. Because that was not what happened. And tell us. Father, the said young man came to the shrine to see the chief priest on something he said was very important. And the chief priest asked him to go and come back later, which he did. So, how then did the ritual process go wrong? As I was carrying the ancient cup of palm wine, and was about to make my wish. It dropped and poured on the floor. What? What did you just say? What have you done? What have you done? And was about to make my wish. It dropped and poured on the floor. What? What did you just say? What have you done? What are you? Ah, Father! No, 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 Father! I cannot believe that Ikenna of all people will act the way that he did today. Hmm. It baffles me that after giving me his words of joining us here when he's done seeing the chief priest, he couldn't even keep to his promise. Mm. We all know he has not done something like this before. I think something is wrong somewhere. Oh yes, something is wrong somewhere. As a matter of fact, he did not sleep last night. Uh, he went in search of that beautiful spirit maid that always come to rescue our people at the point of death. Oh. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Has he gone mad? Yes, he has gone mad. His madness started the day I told him about my encounter with the beautiful spirit maiden. Mm. I made him understand that what I saw can be likened to the beautiful bride, the imaginary bride you always talk about. <laughs> it's obvious what is wrong with Zeke and it's not ordinary. Can we change this topic and talk about something else, please? Uh. Something else like what? Any other thing other than this imaginary maiden thing, please. Ah. Yes. Oh, in that case, I'll go back to work. When okay. you girls are done resting, meet me up. Okay. Oh, okay. I will rest it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, we'll wait for you when you're done. We'll join you. Can no kwa. Yes, when you're done, we'll join you. <laughs> Charge. Can no kwa. More grace to your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, man, is... I said let's change this topic, please. Oh, fine. Okay. You can. The gods have chosen you to carry out the sacrifice that will unmask the evil spirit of death that is terrorizing our kingdom. As I speak to you, our ego is down. And you need to get married before the next two AK market days for you to be able to perform this, this, this sacrifice. Please, 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 Biko. please, please. No one, no one should talk me into it. No one should just talk me into it. I saw it coming. And I want to see Ayoko about it. He asked me to leave the shrine on the note that I was disrupting the process of the official 
presentation of bride to Ogugo that was going on between the, the princess and Obina. Are you telling us right now that your intention of going there was not to disrupt whatever was going on between Obina and the princess? Why, why should I do that? Why should I do that? I had a dream this morning. In that dream, I saw the Igwe being dragged by one deadly beast to the land of dead. Then, I went to see Ayoko about it. That's all. I even disappointed my friend, uh, also the mother I was supposed to go to the farm with. Who I promised to go to the farm with. Because, because of that, I, 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 I disappointed him. He came now. I understand how you feel. But please do not allow anger to take the better part of you. As that will destroy lots of things right now. Now you mess with the wrong person. I'll make sure you pay for this. You can, I will make sure you pay for this madness. It's rubbish. Father, mm -hmm. how did it go? <clears throat> Father, how did it go? That young man had no intention of destroying whatever is going on between you and the princess. Father, that's not true. I mean, Father, how, how can you say such a thing? Father, I saw it right in his eyes. I saw it. So will you sit down? Don't talk over your father. Sit down. I don't see him as a liar. He said he had gone to Anyoku to tell him about the terrible dream he had about our king. Father, what useless thing what is he talking about? Father, what useless thing is he talking about? Can't, I mean, can't you see? That young man was only trying to cover up for his lies. I don't believe him. But why would he lie over the health of our king? Yes. What do you mean the health of our king? He said he had a terrible dream. That in the dream, he saw a, a terrible beast dragging our king to the land of the dead. So he had gone to tell Anyoko about this dream. I met both of you. No, 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 Father. I still don't believe him. Father, I don't believe him. Huh? What is wrong with you? What wrong have we done to you? Huh? Why do you derive joy in seeing your parents in pain? Mom, what did I do? What have I done wrong? I, 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 don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. What did I do? One more useless question from this mouth of yours, I will shut it up for you with a hot slap. Why are you bent on sending us our early graves? Eh? Why? Mom, I don't understand what you're talking about. And the more I try to understand, the more you're confusing me. What are you talking about? Why are you, why are you coming at me like this? Really? Pray nothing mm. happens to your father, the king. Pray hard! Mom, are you blaming me for what happened to dad? Are you blaming me for what happened to my father? It is not my fault. Really? Why are you blaming me? Is really? this what, what this whole thing is all about? Really? No problem. Time shall tell. Princess, time shall tell. Don't worry. Listen, bro, nothing will happen to you, okay? Absolutely nothing. You will not die. Alright? So calm down. My 
my problem is, what if, what if he's actually cheating on me? I mean, what if this is true? You know, you know our tradition. You know how powerful that deity can be. I'm cheating on you, I don't understand. I thought you said you were certain that she wasn't seeing another man. So come on, why, why is cheating coming I, I, from? I, I said so. I said so. So? But it's more than confused. That, that means, I mean, you're making me believe that she's actually cheating on you with the so-called Tony. I mean, the Tony she has been mentioning all this while. Listen, moving now. The truth is, at this point, I don't know what to think or believe anymore. Leave me. Totally confused. I'm blanked out. Listen, bro. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Nothing will happen. I am certain that, sorry if I use the word certain, okay, but I'm convinced that nothing will happen to you, all right? You will not die. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So, um, what are you doing? I mean, are you free? Oh, no. I'm Let's go together and see my princess. At the palace. <laughs> now, Jalukwao, hold on. Are you, are you still doing this princess thing? I don't understand. Are you pushing this open hours? Wait. Wait, chill, watch it. Don't you think this uh, this whole thing, this whole this whole thing might eventually blow up if you if you to get to get to settle down? <laughs> One minute you're thinking about the deity. <laughs> you want to die. And the next minute you're advising me. <laughs> Come on, bro. Look, nothing is gonna happen, okay? Nothing will happen. I'm all in. I mean. Come on. She's the woman after my heart, so what do you expect? It's a dangerous game. Come on, bro. What's that? <laughs> Let's go. No, no. <laughs> oh, man. Where? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go As in never, 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 Young lady, if only mortals can open up and speak the truth at critical times, then most of the ugly situations could be averted. Hmm? Great one. You're confusing me with your words. Please, can you talk to me in a language that I will understand? The ways of the gods are totally different from that of men. Is my brother's wife possessed? Like, does she have a spiritual husband? Or is she cheating on my brother? When a sack is filled, it must be tied. That which is hidden must be made open very soon. In accordance with its psychic 
karmic consequences. Go home and allow the gods to do their work. I came here this night to know why you did what you did earlier today. Okay, I will start by saying that I'm sorry for what I did. It wasn't intentional. I didn't plan for it at all. I didn't ask you to tender an apology. I asked for a very simple question. Why did you do what you did today? We had an agreement as friends. We agreed to go to the farm. So why did you decline? I said I'm sorry. Something happened, so I had to rush to go see Anyoko. And what happened is more important than what we agreed on. Okay, I had a dream. I was actually dreaming before you woke me up. In that dream, I saw the king being drawn to the land of death by a terrible beast. So I rushed towards Onyoko to tell him what's going on. Why will you tell such a lie again? I'm a noble man of this land. I cannot lie. Are you serious? Yes. Then what did Onyoko say about the dream? He didn't allow me to tell him why I visited. Rather, he said I was obstructing the ritual presentation that was going on between the princess and Obina. Are you by this statement confirming to me that the princess has agreed to get married to that idiot? Why didn't you stop it? The princess wanted you to marry her. Of course, it was written all over her. See, the king is very sick. We should be praying to the gods to heal him than sitting down here talking about one princess Urena. Greetings, the dream man of every maiden in Enyato kingdom. The Princess of Enyata Kingdom, have you come to my house to insult me? The gods forbid I embark on such journey this early morning. I came to have a word with you. I came to pour out my heart to you. And I pray you give me a listening ear. Say whatever you want to say and leave. As you can see, I'm very busy. You can it hurt so much when you love someone. When you love someone with all your heart and they don't love you back. to beg you forgive me for what happened I, I allowed my anger take the better part of me I am sorry I apologize I'm sorry about it but please please again now I beg you in the name of our God make me a happy woman please marry me Apologies accepted. You can leave now. Ikenna. Ikenna, why have you decided to hurt me like this? Why do you hate me so much when I love you with every fiber in me? Why have you refused to open up your heart to me? Ikenna, please. 
please. Please make me a happy woman. Make me your wife, I beg you. I beg you in the name of the gods, please. What else are you waiting for? May the gods forbid. May the gods forbid that I have anything to do with a woman who has been presented to Ogugu, kneeling before me, asking me to love her, begging me to be her husband. May the gods forbid. The presentation process was not completed. It can immediately I saw you. I couldn't. And as soon as you left the shrine, I followed you. I couldn't complete it because I didn't want to marry him. It is you I want to marry. Princess Uvena. What is wrong with you? Ikena, can't you see? You are all that is wrong with me. I cannot think anymore. Every night I go to bed praying to the gods that they make me your wife. Kenna, you're the one I see in my dream. You, please make me your wife. Abomination. Please. No maiden of this land has brought herself this low for a man. And I ask, why would the princess of Enyato be the first to create such stupid history? Who invited you into this house? What are you doing in a man's house? I'm asking you, you stupid and useless girl. Oh, you now live in a man's house. A man who has not given a common cup of palm wine to your people on your behalf. That is how low and how disappointing you are. So you now force yourself on a man, right? Everyone in this kingdom knows that there is nothing going on between us except friendship. The relationship between us is genuine. It started right from when his parents were still alive. And if it pleases the gods that we become man and wife, then so be it. Such abomination can never please the gods. And if you think in any way that your charm will work on him, then you fail. Now leave this compound. I said, girls, get this thing out of this place. Hey, 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 can you make this stop that madness? Leave this place before I do something drastic now. Get Lydia. out! Get out! My princess! Hey, I said... Get out! Here. See, get out! Shush! Shut up! A disappointment is what you two are. To think that you stood there and watched the daughter of a nobody insult your princess and none of you did nothing. My princess, we are sorry. But you told us never to say or do anything in situations like this. Will you shut that thing you call a mouth? No, 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 no. You now speak for her. No, my princess. You are her spokeswoman, right? No, my princess. The gods have gutted her tongue, right? She can no longer speak for herself. My princess. Right? My princess, we are deeply sorry. But you went too far. What? Yes. Kneeling before him and saying all those things to say to him. He did not speak well of you. He can't speak sorry, what of you. I'm sorry. How dare you open that thing? You call him out to talk to me in that manner. Are you insane? I'm, I'm sorry, my, my princess. I did not mean to insult you. I'm sorry. I see what is going on here. No, 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 no. It's clear now. You two have eyes on Ikenna, right? No! Hey, my princess! No, I, I did not hear you. No, 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 my princess. My eyes are not on Iken now. No. I see. My princess, the gods forbid that I have eyes for the man that my princess desires so much. I can't, my princess. Please. In the name of the gods that you just mentioned, I will spare the two of you. Thank you, my princess. But the next time something like this repeats itself, <laughs> will you get out of my way?
get your rickety selves into this car. very disappointed at you. Very, very disappointed at you. How on earth will you join issues with the character like Urena? How? Why are you blaming me for everything that happened? Why? Well, 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 must, must, must you talk to her? It's because you talked to her in the first place. That was why she has to be got to talk to you. But everything she was doing was wrong. Then do you have to rub it on her face? Even before her mates? Don't tell me you're falling for that arrogant princess. And uh, anyway, the gods of our land has not brought the person of my dream my way yet. Um, <clears throat> is it possible we'll end this conversation so you can eat your food? I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. It was intentional though. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. Just, just eat your food. said he cannot do anything to put the king on his feet. What does he mean by that? According to him, he said a lot of the gods will fall on him if he goes against their wish. Oh, I'm finished. Oh no, I am finished. Why would the gods allow this to happen to me? Why? Why would he go through this? <laughs> Elders of our land, I greet you all. Mother, what is it? Mother, why, why are you crying? What is it? What happened? Please tell me my father is not dead. Tell me my father is not dead. Please. You evil child of mine. Is that what you wish your father? Huh? Or is not enough that you put him in this condition? You also wish him dead? Mother, how can you say such a thing? How can you say I put my father in his present condition? Mother, this is wrong. Why are you blaming me for, for, for all this? What did I do wrong? Uh, princess, calm down. Uh, calm down, please. Why are you telling her to calm down? Why? If she did not run away from the shrine yesterday, my husband wouldn't have been in this condition. Now, my husband's fate is tied to that useless son of Obiako. When will he get himself a wife to, 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 to perform the sacrifice? When? It's all right. Take it easy. <laughs> Please, take it easy. Oh, no, no. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You all should warn the princess. Tell her to pray hard that nothing happens to my husband. Because if anything happens to my husband, you will see the other side of me. Nonsense. Out of light. Mother, what troubles you? Mother, my heart is heavy. 
Yet I can't say exactly what the problem is. This is strange. I feel someone or group of people somewhere needs my help. Do not outrun your chi in the race of life. What do you mean, mother? You are a child of destiny. A daughter of light. The gods have always led you in all you do. Do not try to change that now. Mother, you know I will do no such thing. I am just bothered about the feelings I've been having lately. I understand you, daughter of light. But please, do not allow your emotions to affect your destiny. Allow the gods to always lead you. Why do you hate me so much? That my presence now irritates you. Why? I can't remember telling you I hate you. And I can't remember telling you that your presence irritates me. I only want to know what you want to... Or, I mean, what you're here for. I came to see you for something very important. And what could that be? My father, the king, is very sick. And my mother blames me for his sickness. She said it's my fault. And how am I supposed to be in that picture? The sacrifice, Ikenna. Ikenna, you have to perform the sacrifice so you can free our people from this, from this evil spirit of death roaming around. Please. And did anyone told you that I refuse to perform the so-called sacrifice? Ikenna, it's no longer news that you have to perform the sacrifice. And the only way you can perform the sacrifice is if you are married. So you need to get married. That is why I have come to see you. I came to beg you. Please. I beg you in the name of the gods. And everything you hold dear to your heart. Please. Princess. Please marry me. He cannot please. Please marry me. Marry me and save our people and my father from the spirit of death roaming around, please. Mm. Please. Princess. What is wrong with you? Eh? You're doing the unthinkable. If someone walks in here and see what you're doing, it won't be funny. Thank the gods no one is here again now. Thank the gods no one can see me and that is why I came without my maids. Because I know this is a very crucial and very important discussion to have with just you. Please. Princess, please stand up and leave before anyone comes in here and, 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 and see what you're doing. Please, you're going to put me into a problem. Please. Sacco believe. And, uh, 
Where is my wife coming from this afternoon without a maid? Baby? Baby, what is it? You're not looking bright at all. What is the problem? Obina, I am okay. Why did you stop me? Well, I was just coming from the palace and I was told you're not around. Thank the gods I met you here. So where is my beloved wife coming from without her maids? And is this why you stopped me here, Obina? Don't I have the right to know where my wife went to? And who exactly is your wife? Who is your wife, Obina? You, of course. As long as I'm concerned, the ritual of presentation of a bride to Ogugu was not completed between the two of us. And as a result, there is nothing whatsoever binding the two of us. So you have no right. You have no right to call me your wife. Please, princess, take it easy. Okay, look, I know that the ritual was not complete. Okay, and I also know that I have no right to call you my wife. Okay, but come on. I mean, that's why I went to the palace so that we can just sit down and talk. Look, I want us to make this thing work, okay? Please. I beg you. Obina, I am no longer interested in the marriage. My love, you can't, you can't. Did you, did you, did you hear me now? My love, please, you can't I do this. I said, I am no longer interested in getting married to you. My love, you can't do this to me. My love, please, you can't, you can't, you can't do this to me. I love you. not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Father, I need you to tell me what to do. Look, I don't, I don't want to lose the princess. Son, there is time for everything. What, what do you mean, Father? This kingdom is passing through a lot. And as you know what, this kingdom, in the absence of my igwe, it is my duty to make sure that everything goes on well in this kingdom. It goes really well. Father, let, let, let me get this thing straight. Are you trying to say that your son's happiness means nothing to you? The health of my Igwe and the happiness of my kingdom. Everybody here, including you, means a lot more to me. Your, your case with the princess will be addressed when my Igwe gets his health back. Keep it pending. Son, I have other things to attend to. Believe it. What? This is not my father. What is happening? What are you doing about this ugly situation? And what exactly do you want me to do? Are you asking me? Your marriage is about to collapse. Are you not bothered? Aloma, do you want my marriage to collapse? Come on, you're a woman like me. Why are you doing everything in your power to rub shame on my face? Have I ever wronged you? This is not the issue of you wronging me or not. See, let me tell you something. I'm not trying to collapse your marriage or trying to rub him on your face. All I'm trying to do here is trying to protect my brother. My only brother. Something in me tells me that you know all about this. You know what's happening. But I don't know why you don't want to speak up. Aloma, 
I wish the gods can open my heart for you to see what is inside. That's the thing. The gods. You see these gods you just mentioned? When the time is right, the same gods will open everything. Mimi, don't say I didn't want you. My husband, the king, is not getting any better. We can't just sit here and watch him die without doing anything. Please, my elders, we have to do something and save the life of the king. Majesty, please relax. Nothing will happen to our king. Nothing. <clears throat> we are here to look for the way forward. I was <sighs> with uh, Anyoku yesterday. And he assured me that something can be done to save the life of our king. Okay. That's what he told me. Good. Good. See, I always knew that the gods will not allow our king to die just like that. Uh, well, he said we have two options. And those two options lies on the head of one man. Oh, no. What are the options? And on who does those options follow? Oh no. Go straight to the point and tell us what Anyoku told you. Anyoku said that Ike Nahir must get married as soon as possible. Option one. On the other hand, if he's not married, then he has to go and fetch water from Umiria Mama. Our king will drink the water and then bathe with it for seven days for him to get well. Now, Ikenna, I invited you here for this meeting for you to hear what Anyoku said. Now, the choice is yours. What is your decision? Ikenna, you have heard what to know who said. What have you to say? Uh, sorry, I would uh, suggest that he goes home. Hmm? Think carefully about this uh, before he takes a decision so that he doesn't, uh, yeah, he, so he wouldn't make mistakes. Iche, what are you talking about? What I have said. Do you think you have time to waste here? Why are you telling him to go home and think over it? I'm what I said. Why not? The truth is that I am not going home for anything. Huh. I have not seen the woman of my dream. Huh. And I'm not going to get married to any other person. I will go and fetch the water from Amiria Mama. So what are you doing here all alone? Ike, now what sort of human being are you? I don't understand. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me with so much passion? Princess, can you please go straight to the point? I do not hate you. You don't hate me. Yet you rather fetch water from Umira Muma. Other than marry me and carrying out the sacrifice. I can't remember seeing you at that meeting. So how did you know I've decided to go to Miriamuma? How? 
I heard everything that was said at that meeting. Oh, I see. You were eavesdropping on the elders' meeting. You can now call it whatever you like. I don't care. I waited for you here to ask you why you hate me so much. But you know what? It has dawned on me that it does not matter what I feel about you. You will never ever care. But I wish you the best in everything you do. And may the gods be with you. Your wife, I don't know where she went to. Please, I need you to make something for me to eat. I'm very hungry and weak. So, you mean Mimi left you in this house? She left you in this house without food. What is wrong with that girl? I don't know. I don't know somebody I call my wife will have abandoned me in this kind of situation. I want to die. God forbid. God forbid. What am I living for? God forbid you will die. I just want to die. See, I'm here for you, okay? I'm your family. In fact, I'm the only family you have now. Okay, you have to be strong for me. You're the only one that I have. Please. Oh, did you know that? Okay, I'm going to prepare something for you. Okay. So, so, what did the doctor say about the results? No. The doctor said they couldn't find the cause of your sickness. Ah. Ah. But, but don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I know you'll be fine. Don't worry, okay? Oh. Don't worry, don't cry. Let me go and make something for you to eat. Don't cry. Okay, please, I'm here for you, okay? Don't cry. Okay, don't don't cry. Die, it's okay. Sorry, it's okay. Let me make something for you. I think that princess is serious. That girl is seriously not okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is it the princess that you are referring to as that girl? What am I supposed to refer her as? Is she a man? Is she not a girl? Ha! Huh. Is she not? Well, I know that the princess is not a man. But you should accord him some respect. Respect? She lost my respect the moment she made her father fall sick because of a man. Yes! She did! <coughs> what? What are you talking about? The, the princess has absolutely nothing Nothing to do with what happened to the Igwe. The Igwe fell sick the moment he heard that the princess ran away from the shrine during the official presentation of the bride to the gods. Going on between she and Onowu's son. And you know the most annoying part of it is the person that made her did that does not even care about her. Uju. My name. Uju. But the elder said that whatever it is that is happening to the Igwe has something to do with the spirit of death hovering in this our kingdom. But come to think of it, why is it not even doing what is expected of him? Please, let the, let Does the he poor, want all of us to let die? Let the poor boy be a beg. There's nothing, not, not, nothing is going to happen between anybody in this kingdom. Nothing would happen. I think you're doing a lot of gossip. Oh, really? Me? No, yes! Me! Because how can you say things that you're not sure Tell me about it! We're talking about the princess here. That girl is too arrogant for my liking. I don't even like her. That's the princess, so I'm, I don't that's care. the prince, I'm telling you. And I'm a maid. Father, did he finally agree to take a bride and uh, perform the sacrifice? He said he has not seen any woman he loves or likes in this kingdom. 
So he's not prepared to, to get married right now. What, what, what nonsense is that? I mean, what is he trying to... What, what's that supposed to mean? Father, you see why I said that young man is so stupid? No, no, have you seen it? That young man is so stupid and senseless. He's so full of himself. Shh. Watch your tongue. You don't call the, the one chosen by the gods names. Don't forget that Ikena is the one chosen by the gods. Father, by the gods, everyone's life here is at stake. That does not give you the right to, 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 to use swear words on him. Don't let, call let, him let him do the right thing, Father. Let him just do the right thing. Father, our Igwe's life is even at stake. Igwe is not going to die. Ikena has promised to visit uh, Emilia Mama. Get the water from there. Igwe will drink it and they'll bathe with him for seven days and all is well. A bird that constructs with its peak can equally destroy with that same peak. No, no, John, where does he? The Duke was on where, maybe. Great one, what do you mean? The sickness, your brother's sickness, is caused by his wife. A wife that should be saving her husband, helping her husband, is the one destroying and killing her husband. Great one. I'm not totally surprised, but how exactly did she cause my brother's strange sickness? It is a taboo, an abomination in our land for a married woman to be sleeping around with another man while you're still in her husband's house. No, it is not done. She has been committing that sacrilegious act over time. But that is not the issue. Her husband, her brother, partakes in the food she cooks. All the benefits she gets from committing the evil act her brother participates in. I said it. I knew it. Oh, great one. Please, I don't want my brother to die. What can we do, please? Da, da, da. No, but where's the woman? A serious ritual, very deep ritual, an extraordinary sacrifice has to be performed to save your brother. Great one, I'm ready to do anything, anything to save my brother's life. Great one, please. Anything. Any sacrifice, I'm ready to do anything. To make sure that my brother ben. doesn't die. Ben! And now, I'm not going to Nothing goes for nothing. There are some items. There are things to be done. So you must drop something for something to be done. We are going straight to the shrine okay. to perform the ritual. Okay. We are going straight to the abode of the gods to walk in accordance with the dictates of the gods. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
Are you confirming to me that you told the elders that you, Ikenna, Uduma, Obiako, will go to Miriam Oma to fetch water for the Iwe to drink and bed for seven days for him to get healed? Mm -hmm. And what is wrong with that? Are you alright? What kind of stupid question is that? Why do I have this feeling that you've gone crazy? Why do you want to embark on this suicide mission? What do you mean by suicide mission? It is very clear to me that you don't know what you're putting yourself into. Excuse me. What do you mean by that? You can now listen. 80% of the people that have embarked on this mission in the past, they all died. 15% out of the remaining 20% came back either deaf, blind, or crippled. Only 5% came back safely. So what do you want to achieve? Hmm? Are you trying to scare me or what? What do you really want to achieve? If that is what you want to achieve, eh, my friend, just keep it. Because I've already made up my mind that nothing will stop me from going to Miriam Oma. I am not trying to scare you, no. But my late father told me, never in my entire life, try to go to Miriam Oma for whatsoever reason. Listen, I don't want to lose you. You are the only friend that I have. Please. Do not go to Miriam Oma. Please. Son of Udume Obiako. <laughs> Why are you desirous of embarking on a journey to Miriam? Huh? I want to save my king and my people. You want to save your king and your people? Have you not heard that legs that entered the evil forest? People saw the legs going in. No one saw even one leg coming out. Have you not heard? Years ago, people embarked on this journey. None of them got home alive. Are you really sure you want to do this? We are all mortals. And we will all die someday. How we die depends on the gods. I am going to embark on this journey. If I die, so be it. But I know that my Chi will never allow that to happen. He is going to bring me back to this land in peace. I dance for land. You are here. You heard him. May you all remain witnesses to this event. That no one forced him to embark on the journey. Oh. Ikenna. Udumobiako. The gods of this land and your chi will lead you to Muriamuma. You will go and come back in peace. Say... 
come forward and kneel for the ritual to commence. You are one of the great youths I respect so much in this land because you know the custom and tradition of this land. Why come here to joke with something of this magnitude? And I did not leave my house to come to this place for you to joke with something like this. As I speak with both of you right now, Ikenna is already at the shrine. And the chief priest is performing the fortification ritual on him so he can embark on the journey. Ah. Uzodima, this is serious. So what, 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 what do we do? We cannot, we can't let him just die like that. What do we do? He just said that he's already at the shrine. There is nothing we can do. We are completely helpless at this point. Ikenna, Ikenna, why have you decided to waste your life for something you don't know the beginning, let alone the end? Why? We can actually do something to stop him from embarking on that journey. Ozum, you just said now yourself that he's at the shrine. And Nathaniel Kwa said performing the fortification rituals on him. So what exactly can we do at this point? Ah. <sighs> Amaram, you are a woman. There are things you do not know. Uzodima, please. If there's anything you want us to do now, we'll do it at once. Please, please. I don't want him to die. Please. Both of you should follow me. Okay. Immediately. Let me, let me look up. Let's go. Let me look up. Daughter of Light, tell me all about the dream. Mother, I can't really explain it. How do you mean? At first, the dream started with me. Then it ended with someone else. Tell me all you saw in the dream. A group of persons conspired to kill me. They sent me on an errand they knew I would not return alive. Along the line, I was no longer in the picture. Who then was in the picture? It wasn't really clear to me. But I'm very sure I was not the one. Mother, the person was reported dead. Mother, I can't really make something out of the dream. It is all right, daughter of light. I will consult the gods on this. I just pray that they will make everything clear to me. Why do you want to do what you want to do? Ikenna Uduma Obiako is the reason we are here. We want to perform the sacrifice that will terminate his journey to Miriam Oma. Why do you want to take the laws of the gods into your hand? You may mother. 
Eye of the Gods. We believe he did not embark on this journey with his clear eyes. We strongly believe something is wrong somewhere. I see. Son of Anozie. Anya Wonkonia. We know your father was a very great man, highly respected in this kingdom and beyond. And we all have to believe that he must have taught you how to live in this kingdom. But why did your father not teach you that you cannot perform this kind of ritual? Because he cannot. He's not your family member. He's just a friend. He can now. my Obiako. Might not be my relative by blood, but we are family. We became family the very day he lost his parents to the cold hands of death. Besides, I am a member of his age grade, and that alone qualifies me to perform the sacrifice. My late father, Anozia Nyamukwaniya, taught me that. <laughs> As in none about that, Jana, I will bank on every year and book an embassy. Yes. You don't display smartness while you are down already. When you are up there on the tree, display your smartness so you don't fall to the ground. Once you are down, no smartness. I don't return, I don't have a zinco. Ikenna, the brother, your friend, has already embarked on a journey to marry Amuma. <laughs> are you saying that there is nothing we can do right now to stop him? First and foremost, take these items to the shrine and run after him. If you can get him and convince him to turn and return with you before he crosses the boundary of Inyato Kingdom. After which, the ritual can be performed. Is that all? For how long will you continue like this? For how long will you continue to treat me like this? I am your only daughter. Your only child. And that gave you the audacity to do what you did to my husband? Pray hard. Pray hard that nothing happens to my husband. What a nothing will happen to my father. Nothing will happen to your husband. I pray so. But I am sorry. I am sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I didn't know this whole thing would turn out like this. I'm, I'm so sorry. I see. I, I heard Ikenna will be going to Miramoma to fetch the water. Yes. Pray he comes back alive with the sacred Miramoma to heal your father. The gods will bring him back safely. 
is Sam. He will come back with the water. M Mother, if he comes back with the water, am I allowed to marry him? Continue with this journey, please, Iken. You have to follow us back to the shrine at once. And what's the meaning of that? We went to the shrine to offer a sacrifice for this journey to be terminated. The chief priest said we should convince you to come back to the shrine before you cross the boundary of this land. Please, he's waiting for you to perform the sacrifice to the gods. Please. And why would you people do something like that? Iken. Ikena, we know that whatever you're doing, you're not doing it with your clear eyes. Yes. Meaning? The Ikena that I know would not waste his life for something he does not know anything about. Or whatever you're doing now, you're not doing it with your clear eyes. Please, Ikena, please. And almost everybody that has embarked on this journey to Miriam Moma didn't make it back alive. We don't want to lose you, please. Please. I thought I had friends who have the interest of this land at heart. But I was wrong. What is going on? What is wrong with you people? Ikena. Ikena. Huh? Ikena, please. What we are doing is for your own good. Yes. Please. Let's just go back to the shrine and stop this nonsense once and for all. Did the chief priest ask you to bundle me back to the shrine? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. He said we should convince you. Then I have a choice of saying yes or no. We don't want to lose you. Please, don't, don't, don't say no. Don't say no. Please. please. My chi always leads me in everything I do. If they want me to die on this journey, so be it. Ikena. Goodbye, my Ikena, friends. Please, Ikena, please. Don't talk about this. Ikena. Ikena. Oh, God. Ikena, please. Ikena, don't do this. Ikena. We're talking about this whole thing. Ikena. <laughs> Greetings, great Anyoko, the mouthpiece of the gods. Greetings, the princess of the Nyato Kingdom. What has brought my princess to this shrine? At this time of the day, all alone. Please tell me he will return. Tell me he will return, please. Uh, 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 what is the problem and who are you talking about? Ikena, son of late Uduma Ubiako. Please tell me he will return back to us alive. Tell me he will come back successful. Anyoku does not give an answer to what he doesn't have an answer for. But you are the great seer, the mouthpiece of the gods, the one who communicates with the gods every moment, the one who sees beyond and above. Spiritually, physically, you see them all. So how come you don't know and you don't have an answer to my question? Yes, I am all this, but I speak only when the gods ask me to speak. That means you know his fate. That means you know something. And you're not telling me, please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of the gods. I am ready to sacrifice anything to the gods to bring him back alive. I cannot afford to lose him. What a minute. I beg you in the name of the gods, please. My princess, why are you doing what you are doing? I cannot afford to lose him. I cannot bear to lose him. Please help me. Help me. Uh, well, uh, go home, my princess. Go home, my dear princess. His fate is in the hands of the gods. 
Uju, why you have not eaten your food? Why? Because I'm no hungry. Why are you doing this to yourself? For the past two days now, he cannot have left to Miriam. You refuse to eat your food. Eh? When will this end? I'm not hungry. Oh, it will when I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Uju. You have to help yourself. I mean your poor mother. Because I can't afford to lose you. Why? <laughs> mama, my child, how are you? I'm fine, Mama. And mama, what is wrong with her? And why is she crying? For the past two days now, that he cannot embark on his journey to Umriya, Mama. She refused to eat. She refused to eat anything. The only thing she does is to cry. Please, help me talk to her. Let her eat her food. This is too much. O okay, Mama, I will. I will talk to her. Okay, please help me. Let me go and see Machi. Okay. I will soon come back. Okay. okay. She refused to eat her food. All she does is to cry. Why are you doing this to yourself? What is wrong with you? Why have you refused to eat your food? Do you want to starve yourself to death? I don't care. I don't care. I will not eat or drink anything until it cannot return. I won't. The ghosts of our land. What is this? What is going on? Everywhere is turning upside down. Hey, what are you doing here? My name is Ikenna. The son of Let Uduma, Obiako, of Enyato Kingdom. I come in peace. I'm on my way to Miriamuma. Where you are going is not my family. Why would you tell me what does not belong to you? I, 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 I picked it up from here. I am so hungry, so... I decided to eat it so I will not die of hunger. Please, forgive me. Please forgive me, it wasn't intentional. I, I didn't know the rules of this place. Please, I'm sorry. I will spare your life because your heart is pure. Who are you? I am the god of this place. Leave now before my anger comes too much. I am just from the palace. I went to see the king. So, how is the king? He is not getting better, Anyoko. Anyoko, are you sure our Igwe will survive this sickness? Our king will survive this sickness. The moment he cannot return to the water from Miriamuma. And so long as he means the king alive, are you saying the king will die if Ikena does not return? Only the gods have an answer to the question you ask. Hey. Talking about Ikena, what did the gods tell you? Will he make it? Only the gods 
have the answer to your question. I personally do not know what is happening at the moment. What is happening to him, wherever he is at the moment, I do not know. What's going on? You've been standing before me for some time now without saying anything. I don't understand. Didn't you tell the princess I'm outside? I mean, I want to see her. I did. So? Where is she? She's in her chambers. What? Yes. In her chambers. I don't understand. Why? Obina, please. You really need to start going. Please. Hold on. Let me, let me get this thing straight. I need to start going. I don't understand. Did the princess actually instruct you to ask me to leave? Obina. Yes, she did. The princess, she's not in her right frame of mind to see you or anybody. So please, you need to start going. I don't want her to come out here and I'll see you. She should be angry with me. Please go. Greetings to you, Father. Young man, why is your face like this? Did you quarrel or fight with anybody? Father, I did not fight with anybody. Then why is your face looking so gloomy? What's the problem? Talk to me. Father. Yes. I am just coming back from the palace. Mm -hmm. I went to see the princess. Father, can you imagine? Can you imagine the princess asked her maiden to, to order me out of the palace? I mean, Father, what, 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 what sort of an insult was that? Chelu, 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 wait. What did you go to the palace to discuss with the princess? Father, I, I went to the palace to discuss with the princess regarding our marriage. Hmm? Which marriage? My marriage to the princess, of course. Ah, marriage? Obina, are you truly the son I gave back to? How, how do you mean, Father? You went to the palace to discuss with the princess about marriage? Do you know what the princess is going through? Do you? Father, what wrong have I committed? No, Father, what crime have I committed to go to the palace to discuss with the princess on what matters to me? Will you shut up, Obina? Shut up! Do you know what the princess is going through? Everyone in the whole kingdom, including me, we are looking for a way to solve the problems that we have in this kingdom. And all you can think about is marriage. What stupid marriage are you talking about? Are you truly my son? I'm disappointed at you. Obina! Hey! Marriage! Marriage Bakoko! Oh, Obina! I'm really disappointed at you. You don't, you don't sound like my son. F marriage. F Father, it hasn't gotten to that. It has not gone beyond that. It hasn't gotten to this. Ina na guamoku marriage. Marriage bako aku. Will you shut up and don't talk about marriage? I'm not a solution to our problem. We are looking for a solution, and this, this marriage nonsense. I thank the gods of my ancestors for bringing me to this river so I can behold this beautiful maiden. Who are you? 
My name is Ikenna Ubiako, the son of late Oduma Ubiako of Enyato Kingdom. Please, are you human or are you the goddess of beauty? What type of question is that? Because I've never seen someone as beautiful as you are. You are so beautiful. I am human just like you. My name is Mburuma. Ah. Mburuma, permit me to say that you are the most beautiful lady on this earth. I thank the gods for bringing you my way. Ah. You said you're from Enya Talk Kingdom. What are you doing on this land? I am headed to Miriam Amuma to fresh from it. Miriam Amuma is very far from where you are. Yes. I must fetch from Miriam Amuma and go back to my kingdom immediately so I can save my king and my people. The gods forbid that I allow you to continue this journey. What do you mean by that? You are in a journey that you would never return alive. Tell me, why do you accept to die for something you know nothing about? You speak so much about the journey I'm embarking on as if you know something about it. Who are you? What I carry, you do not carry. What I see, you do not see. Son of Uduma Obiako, return back to your land. Save your life and save your destiny. I see. I see you're not just an ordinary human like me. And that makes you the perfect woman I've been searching for all my life. Yes. Yes! Ah. Please, will you be my bride? Mother, am I truly a woman? What kind of question is that? Mother, please answer me. I really want to know. My daughter, you are a woman, a very beautiful one at that. Your beauty is second to none. Mother, did the gods curse me? May the gods forbid. You are not cursed, my daughter. If truly that I'm not cursed, and I'm as beautiful as you make it sound. Why is it that no man has come to ask for my hand in marriage? Why are you asking me all these questions? Mother, I've been really worried. My daughter, you're a very special child. The gods have a reason for making you whom you are. The very day both of you will set eyes on each other, that same day, he will ask for your hand in marriage. This is very funny. A man will meet a maiden for the very first time. And that same day, he will ask for her hand in marriage. The way of the gods is not the way of man. Do not say no to him on the day you will encounter him. You have been staring at me for some time now without saying a word. What is it? Don't you want to marry me? Even before we were conceived in our mother's womb, the gods already knew a day like this will come. Ours is a destiny that must be fulfilled. 
Yes, I'll marry you. You will. You marry me. <laughs> oh, I thank the gods. I call upon the spirit, the great spirit that dwells in Iyocha River and all the spirits around this place to witness this union between this beautiful maiden and I. I take her to be my bride and I seal it with Ajala. Of in your chair. Do you really know the implication of what you just did? Yes. Yes, I know. My father taught me all I need to know. As a noble man of Inyato. I know exactly what I did. And I have no reason to regret anything. She's a daughter of mine. I thank the gods that I can see this day. My son, you will live to go back to your kingdom and come back with your people to perform the marriage rites. Um, thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. But Going back to my people without the sacred butter, Miriam Uma, simply means I failed. They will not be happy with me if anything happens to the king. Nothing will happen to your king. He must be alive to see destiny come to fulfillment. Destiny? What is this destiny you're talking about? The liberation of Enyato people from the hands of the evil men that has taken over the place lies on your shoulders. You must allow the gods to liberate the people of Enyato kingdom through you. Else, they will witness great calamities and help will not come from anywhere. This is very serious, very, very serious. But is there nothing else I can do to get the sacred Milia Mama back to my people in Yato? At least let it be on record that I got the water they sent me to go and fetch. If I were you, I will do as I've been told. Ikenna, your life is very important at this point. Because without you, nothing will work out. Idiot! Prostitute! Move out! Huh? You are not ashamed of yourself! Huh? Idiot! You, oh my friend, move, 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 move. Don't, I don't want to lose it now. Anumano. Fool. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. What is all that? What, what, what did my wife do and why? Why this public embarrassment? Hey, how dare you give her that prestigious title, wife, to this shameless idiot. Her lot. Did, did I hear you right? How dare you call my wife a, a prostitute? She's a prostitute. We caught her making love with Tony in the bush. She said, what did you say? You heard me well. I said we caught this shameless harlot making love with Tony in the bush. Nima, yes. Mafia. And, and, and who, who is who is this Tony? Somebody answer me. A, a young man from the neighboring village. Immediately we caught them. He he ran away. What? Take her away. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So this is true. Who is the one who the devil? You've been cheating on me with this Tony you've been mentioning all the while. I sleep with you. Leave me. 
guy, let's move. Big guy, let's move. Stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Mimi, so this is true. Oh, You've been cheating on me with this Tony. Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm 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 What's the meaning of that? Huh? Are we all going to sit here and listen to this cook and boo story he's telling us? Um, your, your, your Majesty, yes, I beg of you, calm down, please. Oh no, please! Don't tell me to calm down. Don't! Because it's the life of my husband, the king of this land that is involved here. I know nothing good will ever come out from this man. Hey, please, Your Majesty, watch your tongue. Don't forget, he is the leader of the masquerade group. The leader of a masquerade group? A leader of a masquerade group who cannot save the life of his king and the entire kingdom. Such man does not deserve such a sensitive and powerful position. But honestly, I don't see the reason for us to start panicking when there is still a way out of this situation. Wait. Are you suggesting we follow what he said? Or, uh, wait. How are we even sure he's telling us the truth? No, hold on. How are we sure the solution he's preferring is going to work? How are we sure? Do you have any other suggestion? Oh, we will have suggestion. Okay, it's okay. Hmm. Uh, Eye of the Gods. You have not said anything all this while. I have not said anything all this while because words are sacred and must not be abused. Mona Madana has a cool fire. Mona Madana has no note to watch. The spirits and mortars do not attend the same market, the same period. Spirits and mortals. Do not share the same seat. It is not done. May the gods forbid that I speak when the gods do not want me to speak. Very well then. Are you now suggesting we should go along with what he has, uh, we said we should do? Um, my others, please, can we just go on with whatever we are doing? We do not have much time to waste. And I strongly believe that the silence of the gods and this situation simply means that they're in support of this. I think so too. Yes. If the gods are not in support of this, they would have spoken. But they did not. Which means they are in support. Please, my people. I beg of you. Let us make hay while the sun shines. At least he came with a solution. Let us not delay, please. Delay is dangerous. This is strange. Very strange indeed. I honestly do not believe that the elders we agree to do that, which you asked them to do. I didn't see it coming that easy, especially with the presence of the chief priest. But the whole thing goes a long way to show that the gods are still in charge. I knew all was not well with that journey. But you didn't want to listen to me. Uzadima, please. Please, let's not go there. The most important thing right now is he's back with his life and with a better solution. And what better solution are you talking about? Tell me, what better solution? Ikenna, bringing that woman and her daughter here Will it be a solution to our problem? You don't know these people. I know them. Kenna, how much do you know them? You tell me, how much do you know them? Just few days you spent with them and you claim to know them. Listen, Ikenna, I will advise you as a good friend. Look for a maiden here. 
get married to her, perform the sacrifice, and save us from this headache. Ikena, um, I think Uzodima is right. And he's making a serious point. I think you should try and listen to him. I, I, I've, I've made up my mind. I'm on the right track. And my chi will never let me down. Anyoko, I do not believe that you could yield so easily to whatever I said. I don't understand. How can you just accept what she said, just like that, knowing fully well that you are the chief priest of the Sawa Kingdom? Why? I don't trust that young man. Supposing everything he said uh, will, 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 will lead to our destruction, destroy every one of us. Supposing, it's just my thinking, I'm just thinking about it. I'm listening. The silence of the gods these days troubles my heart. As a matter of fact, I am scared. Scared? Scared, did you say? Hey. Oh no. We really need to tread with caution. Serious caution. Amy, I am so <laughs> disappointed at you. What is all this? I mean, you, you knew what you were doing all along. Why? What did I do to you? Why did you accept to marry me in the first place when, when you knew you, you can't let go of him? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You know, there, there's nothing to forgive. There's nothing to forgive. You're a devil. You want to kill me. No, no. Please go. don't take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't you know the consequences of what you just did? You know, I had, I had to admit that Olamachi was right all along. But what, what did I ever do to you? All I did was love you with all my heart. How did I wrong you? You see this whole thing? This whole joke you call marriage. It is over this night. So you will go in there, pack those your filthy things, because you're leaving this compound first thing in the morning. Oh no, ma, please help me beg your brother. May the ghost twist your mat to the bar for calling my name. Ah. Did I not warn you? Did you listen to me? It will be over my dead body that by tomorrow you're still in this house. And let me tell you something. Going to your father's, I will not solve this problem in Loni. You are away the wrath of the ghost. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry it would never happen to me. Please look at me now. Come on, get out. Don't leave me. Oh, no. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> the ways of us is not the ways of love. There is no
Are now fully fortified. The gods are with you. Nay, I have this strong feeling that we need you on this journey. You have nothing to be afraid of. You will go and conquer. Ikenna, I understand your fear, but I assure you, nothing will go wrong. I will be here to monitor the whole process and to support you spiritually. Please, remember all I told you to do as soon as you step into Enyato Kingdom. Do not forget. We had everything you said and I promise we will not forget any of them. We will do all you ask us to do to save the kingdom. May the gods be with you. You say, you may go. The ways of God is not the ways of man. There is no She said, Don't tell of life. Mother, you shouldn't have given him your consent to go ahead with, with his idea. What's that supposed to mean? Are you not the reason we're in this mess? Are you not? All I am saying is, he said he was going to be here yesterday, but he did not come. Today again, he said he was going to come. Up until now, we've not seen him. So how are we sure that he is coming today? Or he's ever going to come? That's my point. Listen. I've decided to put everything in the hands of the gods. If the gods decide that my husband should die in this cause, so be it. May the gods forbid that my father dies or anything happens to him. My father will not die. Pray harder. Did you hear me? Pray harder. Pray that the gods hears your prayers. Gods of any other kingdom, I come in peace. I have no evil intention against this kingdom. Rather, I have come to help save this land from the hands of the evil ones. As I step into this kingdom with the great son of the soil, I ask that you protect us and all the good people of this land. As I drop this inzu on the land, May all the charms on this land be neutralized and all the evil men in this land be exposed.
tears of a man crying in the rain is only known by that same man. What causes the unpleasant smell coming from a he goat comes from within that he goat. Oh, listen to me, woman. Are you here to show off your little prowess in Proverbs? Or you are here to heal our sick king and save our land from the evil spirit of death that has been hovering around and tormenting us? Listen, if you think you can use Proverbs to talk to us, I will shock you. Because we have men, we have men here who will speak in Proverbs and they will definitely put you to shame. Don't try me. So go straight to the point. Exactly. Exactly. You have a great point, Ono. Young woman, go straight to the point and do exactly what brought you here. A man who does not know where the rain started beating him will not know where it will end. The king knows something some of you here do not know. What nonsense are you talking about? What nonsense? You were brought here to heal the king and cleanse the land. That is all. Why are you here talking about something else and doing something else? Are you alright? The king will not be healed. This kingdom will not be free from evil unless the king confesses his atrocities. Ta! Uchiyogono. Shut that your white mouth. Oh. Do you realize the kind of person you are talking to? If you have nothing meaningful to say, shut up! I'm um, I of the gods. Allow her. I don't see any problem in this. Huh? If she says the king has a confession to make, the king is here. Let him talk to us with his mouth. Huh? You don't speak for someone you have not heard from. Which in can call confession is that? Shut up! I have not done anything wrong. I have no confession to make to anyone. The king has not done anything wrong. Did you hear that? You. You. Did you hear that? Or are you deaf? Um, my elders, my elders, please, please. Let's allow her to do what she has come to do. Please. I think Ikena is right. Yes. Let her do that for which she has come. Please. That's ne it. Go ahead. Um, as a wine. Naifibia. I call on Ogugu. The great god of Enyato Kingdom. I call on Anyaun, the great god of the sun. I call on Allah, the great god of Mother Earth. I call on all the spirits that live in the river, the trees, and all the plants around. I call on all the ancestors of this great kingdom to come. Come! For the time has come to liberate this great and peaceful kingdom. To come, the time has come to expose all the evil in this land. Ayo! 
the gods did not choose you. I am. I mean, after all I did, all the sacrifices I, I, I performed, yet I am not chosen. Huh? Life is not fair. Uh, Anok, please do something. Help me. Please. As you can see, my hands are filled. So tired, I cannot do anything. Uh, there is nothing I can do at this very moment. Ayoko, please. Anyoko, please. Eh? You, are, you are the chief priest of this kingdom. I believe you. You are capable of doing anything. Help me. I, I, I am going all out here before your shrine. I am bound to give you double of all I have earned. Everything will be double upon double. Just to make sure that you foresee the possibility for me to become the king of this kingdom. Please, and I, I'm promising you before your shrine that you will be maintained as a chief priest during my reign as a king. I am begging of you. You, you, you can do it. And you could please. Hey. Come and get the job for the chosen. Every morning, man, I rob them. Instead of me to overfeed myself and end my life on the way, let me stab myself and get home safely. Get home alive. Why are you asking me, ordinary me, ordinary mortal, to get myself involved in such temptation? Ah, uh, Ayoko. We've been friends for years. Uh, to you, you think you are mortal. But, but to us, you are invisible. You, you commune with the gods. I beg of you, help me, Ayoko. And I will be forever thankful. I am swearing before your shrine that I will do as I've promised. I am going to replicate this in, in three folds. In hundred folds, I'll come back being all thankful. Do, do, do. Eh? Listen. Hey, oh, oh, I want to become the king of this kingdom. Before your shrine, I swear I will favor you. Please. I want to become the king of this kingdom. You must make me the king, Anoko! Oh, we see Kalaka, we see Kalaka. I want to become the king, Anoko! I want to be a king! Yeah, uh, now, how did it go? <clears throat> Amazi, it was a difficult situation, a difficult task. It is as if. Like someone trekking from Cape to Cairo. But at the end, yeah, may the gods be praised that I was able, in fact, the gods were able to convince him. You mean, you mean you were able to convince? Consider yourself the next Uno and the king after me. Hey! <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> You, you, you mean I will be, oh no, <laughs> to you? Of course. And he, hey! <laughs> and my son, Obina, eh, will marry your daughter. Eh? 
<laughs> the princess and then you will not become the Malilich. Our lineage, our lineage. Oh yeah. Amanze, let us not lose the sight of uh, the bigger picture. Uh, you know, Udma Obiako is the one the gods have chosen. What do we do? That weakling, Udma Obiako. Oh, eh? on on Naga. <laughs> he's going, he's going, he's going. Let's go and celebrate. Consider, consider him. No, no, no. Let's go and celebrate. <laughs> over, oh, over, over and out. <laughs> Let's go to Mamuju place. When I will touch there, you take one bottle. Oh, yeah. I take one bottle. Yes, Okuchi. I am on my way to your place. Hope there is no problem. Uh, definitely there is no problem. I just want to have a talk with you. Whatever it is that you want to say, make it brief. Because I am on my way to see my sick mother and my daughter who is taking care of her. Oh, I will be brief. But that reminds me, Okuchi, uh, majority of our people here in this land do not know and will not believe that you have a child. It's just because you sent her away at a very tender age to go and stay with your mother. Uh, who knows how big and how old that your child is now? She has grown so big. Good. Um, you see, uh, it is about what I discussed with you last time. Concerning... Ah! May the gods forbid that I should be part of such evil. The people of this kingdom must have the person that the gods have chosen to lead them as a king. Okuchi. Yes, the benefit we derive from drinking is far more than the aroma and the taste of the drink. Think about what you stand to gain. I do not care about whatever you want to offer me. The goddess of virginity that I serve will kill me if I should do what you ask me to do. It was the Igwe. Igwe was on my own. Igwe came to me and said, he wants me to join him in his evil quest 
of becoming the Igwe and he will make me know who I never wanted to become. Oh, I am not a greedy man. I am not in a hurry to own. Hey! Because forgive me, my people. Forgive me. Take, take your Igwe and Olo. Oh, but let me have peace of mind. Hi! People of Enyato Kingdom, these men are evil. They ganged up and killed Uduma Obiako, the same man the gods chose to be the king of this great kingdom. They did not just stop there. They framed up my mother, Okuchi, and banished her from this kingdom for a crime she knew nothing about. They did this to cover up their evil act. Iwe! Iwe, why? So you did this? Iwe, why did you kill my father? A man who has done nothing to you. Hi. They cease from calling an evil man Igwe before the gods takes your position away from you and twist your mouth to the back. Um, as a wine, great daughter of the gods, what do we do? Maka onabu isa de lunu isa batopu. Onya ne do edu na juaju jupu ogaba. Eh? So, what is the way forward? The gods have decreed that they all be banished from this great kingdom. And Ikenna be crowned the king of this great land. You can consult any seer or divya to confirm this message. Gods of Enyato Kingdom, I have done that which you have sent me to do. Uh, Your Majesty, uh, we thank the gods for a successful coronation and uh, official takeover of this great palace uh, that belongs to the entire people of Enyato Kingdom. But the offices of Ono Owu and Ezemo are still vacant. And these must be filled before your first of uh, That is why we have come to reason with you. Uh, let us put heads together and um, know the way forward. Your Majesty is very correct. You know, the former No Wu's village is no longer represented in this cabinet. Mm. So we have to choose someone that will represent them. And from among us, you will choose who you deem fit to be the next No Wu. It's okay, it's okay. I've heard all you said and um, I've actually thought about it. And all that will be taken care of on the next for market day. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and um, I promise to lead my people very well with the help of my Lolo. We'll make sure that our people are happy and everything will go on fine. Oh, as it pleases you, Your Majesty. Igwe! Igwe!